All right, we should be up and running now on the live stream. Welcome folks, it's another Friday. Unlike the past six months, we finished with uh, Diablo 2 Low Rent Legion last week. So no, Di no Diablo 2 today. We might run another team variant down the road, but for right now, um, not gonna be running that in the near future, at least on stream. Good morning, Grillo. Happy Friday to you too. Uh, so, because my main uh, gaming laptop is still in the shop, uh, we're going to go ahead and run some FTL this morning, and then we'll do our uh, group games after that for Teamfight Tactics. Yeah, last, two weeks ago we did some FTL. Yeah, I was pretty, pretty happy with how I played things, but um, ended up just not having things quite come together with Rock B. I think the ship got killed in Sector 4 or Sector 5, somewhere around there. Basically just got whittled down by missiles and uh, ran out of luck. So we'll do a different ship this time. I listed Slug A as the ship we'll try to run. This is a fun ship to run. Um, biggest advantage is it starts with dual lasers, which are quite a good weapon. If you can find, uh, ideally you find a halberd beam and the Dual laser is one power, the halberd beam is three power, so they pair together perfectly. So that would be ideal, but of course it can fit with a lot of other weapon setups. Um, also has the breach bomb. These two are pretty nice. You can bomb out weapon systems and then shoot out shields, that kind of thing. Also has the anti-bio beam. So if you're up against ships that aren't dangerous, you can try to go for crew kills, which can be quite nice for snowballing you ahead in the early game. Uh, biggest weakness of this ship, is it only starts with two crew members, which is not a lot for the early game. So, biggest issue there. Uh, let's go ahead and get started then and see what we can do. All right, so you should, the ship starts with, uh, it starts with three weapons power. So, for safety's sake, you should usually run the breach bomb. And then if the ship's not dangerous, you can power the bio beam instead, but usually best to start with this. All right, save our crew positions. Name a crew position Wenli. All right, you asked for it. You got it, Burninator. Oh, apparently I can't type dashes. Dashes don't fit, so we'll just have to list it like that. Hi, Terror. Welcome. Good to see you. All right, for this sector, let's go top first and then go down to the bottom. Although we have to be... Actually, no, we should go bottom first because this doesn't connect over to here. So we'll go bottom and then up and around. Hey, Darkuno. Thanks for subscribing. Um, can I go here? Hmm, I'm never gonna see what's up here if I don't go north at the start. Kind of some interesting decisions. Well, let's head down here and we'll see what's here and then we can always loop up and around. Thanks for subscribing for so long. <laughs> All right, so we get a chance to fight. Ooh, okay. So uh, we're not gonna mess around here. They have a, <laughs> they have a, a Flak and a heavy laser, so that is a do not screw around with uh, <laughs> at least the so the heavy so the heavy shot will hit go first hit our shields and then there's the flak. All right, so we took out their weapons, but because they have the cloning bay, I'm not going to try to go for a crew kill here. I think that that's just more trouble than it's worth, given that they have a. All right, so we get one shield bubble back. That blocks one flak projectile. Ooh, yeah, see, this is why we don't want to mess around with these guys. They just took out the shields. And remember, they still have a uh, heavy beam. So I'm going to use the second breach bomb, but this heavy shot's almost certainly going to get through. All right, good. We got that shot through. 15% <laughs> odds to dodge this. Oof. <laughs> I can see we're off to a good start already. At least we still got the dual laser. Um, hopefully that'll go out. Nope. Now we have no weapons. Cool. All right. Well, at least we took out their weapons. Thank goodness. We got to get our systems back online. First, the fire has to go out, though, before we can do anything. Oh, they have an NG repairing. That's not good. So some bad fight RNG here from the very start. We need the fire to go out. Okay. Now we can shut this. We need to get this fixed quickly. Fortunately, I have an NG firing, <laughs> an NG over there repairing. I'm actually gonna power the breach first because I think that's the most important weapon to buy us time. More bombs than I'd like to use this early, but. All right, let's 
get our pilot back, and then the other person can stay and keep repairing. Yeah, like we have to get that fixed. <laughs> All right. Very, very dangerous battle here. Some slightly bad fight RNG as well, but okay. Get you back over there. So we'll hold the breach in reserve in case we need it. They're actually not repairing over there, interesting. Alright. Wish I knew what was going on over there. So the question is going to be whether this ship tries to retreat or not. Can't apply damage very quickly, but um, you know what, since they're not... Let's go ahead and get the weapon skill. Fire a little bit faster. I don't know why they're not repairing that system. Oh, they are. Okay. In that case, we have to use the breach bomb. Alright, we killed that. Let's see if we can get a point of damage through and see if we can stop him from reviving. I have no idea if this will work or not, but let's see. Alright, no. So he's still going to revive, so it's basically kind of pointless. Like, this is a lot more breach bombs than I want to use for this early. If we didn't have the cloning bay, we would get the crew kill here, but... <laughs> they got the resist. Anyway. Very, very difficult battle for the first battle. Alright. Like, this was not an easy fight. <laughs> Alright, you're good. Pretty tough stuff for the very, very first ship. Yeah, it was just that they rolled the heavy laser plus the um, flak. Like, those are exceptionally good weapons to roll at the start of a fight. Alright, there's a store, so let's hit these encounters, then we'll go here. Remember, we have the slug repair gel to sell, which sells for a decent amount. So hitting a store is a better option than it would be normally. Alright, oh hey, and look what we've got, a, a verse 2. Why are we hitting, like, the best weapons in the game? So we have no choice but to breach bomb this again. The good news is we did get two bombs from that last battle. We, we used five, but got two back, so... Oof. At least only two of the three burst laser shots went off. Alright, we got awesome dodges there, thankfully. Now this ship does not have a med or they do have a med bay, so no point in trying to buy a beam them, it's just too much trouble. So we're just gonna sit here and chip them down with the dual lasers for right now, and it, unless something like that happens. Good news is they don't have any lasers up at the moment, so even losing our shields is not the disaster it would otherwise be. Alright, that's on fire. I may bomb the med bay if they run in there. Alright, they did not. Just trying to keep that weapon offline. They're all in there repairing. Good, their weapons are back online. I'm getting some very, very difficult battles for the start of the game. <laughs> Alright, we got the shields back online, thankfully. I'm gonna have to blow up their weapons again. Fortunately, we were able to take that out. <laughs> These are very, very difficult battles for Sector 1. These are the first two jumps of the game. Anyway. I also have three crew members, so like with the med bay, it's pretty much impossible to stop them from healing. Like I gave it a shot. Oh, and they're running too. Great. And they're running. So I also have to shoot out their um, piloting. No, that's a terrible reward. Alright, that's annoying. out their shield so that this volley will kill them. But look how many bombs I had to use. Just these were very difficult battles. We got two bombs back. So uh, I've gotten four and used nine, which is not a sustainable rate, but hopefully we'll get some easier encounters than this. 
Alright, we can go here and then to the store and then east. Very, very difficult battles for the first two jumps. Alright, that was nothing. We lost the dice roll to get something there. Alright, give me something good. Alright, we can maybe get Chain Laser here. Hacking's good too. How much does the Slug Repair gel sell for? 30. I wouldn't mind getting this. Like, I could repair it, replace the breach. Breach sells for 25. We could just replace the breach with the chain laser. Do I want to do that, though? If this had the defensive drone, I would consider it, but. Hmm, like, the breach is very good early. Let me check something. Alright, no other shops immediately in range. I do like the chain laser, but it's very slow to wind up. Or do we just hold here for the moment? I think... I actually think uh, these weapons are not so good that I have to upgrade. I think I'm gonna hold here for the moment. I think I'm gonna hold here. I didn't like these weapons enough. Let's do this instead. Now that we've seen what the first store had to offer, and it what didn't have what we want, we'll get that second shield bubble. All right. Uh, we actually okay. We're, we can't take damage from this battle. If hacking had gone on a more dangerous topic subject, then maybe. But we we can't actually take damage from this battle. It's a shame there's no crew to kill. This would be a perfect opportunity to use the bio beam and crew kill, but. There isn't, so. At least this is a vastly easier fight. Um, getting the second shield bubble, of course, is huge. If we didn't have the second shield bubble, then I'd have to be very careful in managing the mini beam and the, um, the heavy laser, but no worries. It'd be nice if we could get another crew member, certainly, but I'm not gonna pay for a crew member this early. Yeah, shields too obviously helps a ton early. Uh, the second shield bubble, technically shields level four, but I know what you mean, the second shield bubble. Um, the one thing though is um, you do wanna try to get a weapons upgrade. Oh, uh, it's another auto scout. Okay, so another ship that can't hurt us, so that's nice. At least we are getting a lot of encounters. Oh, they actually hacked our shields. Thank goodness we had the second shield bubble here. So if we hadn't gotten the second shield bubble, these last two fights would have been disastrous <laughs> because the previous ship, the um, the heavy laser would have shot out the shields and then the mini beam would have torn us to pits. This fight, we have a pre-battle event that took out a shield bubble and there's both a beam drone, actually there's a fire drone, um, and a mini beam. So we would have just been torn to shreds by this fight. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> have not gotten the opportunity to use the bio beam yet. Oh, we might as well speed this up by having you stand here. It's not like there's any any way to farm evades against this battle. So you might as well stand here and get minimal weapon skill. Alright, take out the shields. Against a ship that can't hurt you, take out the shields first. But um, you can see, if, shield, if enemy ships start showing up with two shield bubbles, we're in some trouble. I can bomb out the shields with the breach bomb, but still, it's, it's not a good situation. So I really would like to get an upgrade. Another weapon to pair with the dual lasers. I just didn't want to sink um, that much scrap into the chain laser, which doesn't pair especially well with the dual laser, because the wind-up time is so long. And uh, in retrospect, it does look like it was the correct decision, because I really needed that second shield bubble. Maybe we'll get, yeah, maybe we'll get the Spiders event, which is a blue option for the bio beam. Yeah, seriously. Oh, look at this, we get a blue option here. Nice! This is what we want. Another crew member. How much dodge chance do you have farmed up? I think I'm gonna have you in the weapons room, because... You basically never want someone to leave the weapons room. Um, whereas it's more, you're more able to move the um, out of the engine room. That's a big pickup because this is a ship that needs crew pretty badly. So right now I would like to upgrade engines, 
But um, I also want to hold scrap in case I find a store, because I would like to find a better weapon. So that's why I'm holding scrap right now, even though I would like to upgrade engines. All right, that's a nothing. Do we want to go bottom or top? It doesn't really matter that much. I guess we have slightly more options up here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go here so we can at least, or here. Obviously, long-range scanners would be awesome if we could find them. All right, uh, they have a missile launcher, but I'm not that scary. Once we just have to get through the Zoltan shield, essentially, but we, we definitely want to be willing to use um, breach bombs here to help us get through the shield faster. Okay, that wasn't great. <laughs> not the ideal opener here. We got through the shields now. Is there a fire in there? <laughs> got stunned. All right, that was the wrong weapon system to take out. Now they do not have a, um, they do not have a med bay over there. So there's the possibility to kill the crew. All right, there was no fire in there. Well, you might as well just stay in there and keep repairing. Again, more missiles than I really want to use here, but I need to take out those missiles. There we go. I'll hold the breach bomb in, in reserve. All right, they, they re-enabled the wrong weapon, so I don't have to fire a bomb here. It wasn't missiles I'd try biobeaming them, but I, I, I just think the missiles are too dangerous to go for the biobeam here. If I can kill the NG, maybe. That is a much better surrender option. Si at six fuel is... take the six fuel, I think. Six fuel is, you know, fuel sells for three, or you buy it for three scrap, so... That's effectively 18 scrap, which is a lot. Distress. All right, we'll go over here because there's the distress. Uh, okay, this ship can't hurt us, so it's bi it's bio beam time. Can this ship can never damage us? Actually, no, I don't need the dual lasers right now, so we'll just use that. Oh wait, we do need the dual lasers. We need to take out the shields. Duh. Bioboom doesn't work if the shields are up. <laughs> Yay, war crimes. Hey, Daisy Cutter. <laughs> Hope your workday is going well. I mean, I can micro this for dodges, but... Alright. No, I, I, I actually don't want to... Nice. I actually wanted the mist there because I don't want to blow up the hole on that ship. I'm trying to kill the enemy crew. And, uh... Alright. Alright. Now they do move around sometimes, so... There we go. I've got one. Two. Oh! <laughs> Five scrap, five fuel, twenty-one scrap. That's a lot for sector uh, sector one. That is very nice. Okay, let's see what's at the distress. So uh, I do want to upgrade the ship, but remember, I'm also saving scrap because um, I, I, I would like to upgrade my weapon system. And there could be a shot like right at the start of the next sector. Oh, we've got this again. You find a man living alone in a cave. <laughs> His mental state is questionable. Nice. This is this is good stuff. All right. So you, Nicola, have farmed zero dodge skill whatsoever. So let's put you in the engines because NG you like to have running around fixing stuff. Yeah, no, I'm well aware that crew kills give you higher rewards. It's like 15% higher scrap on average. 
that was a particularly nice one. So, oh, by the way, we uh, we have proof for renaming. Uh, we the only one that's been renamed is the first slug, Wen Lee. The other three are available if people want to uh, claim them. So this has been a good sector. We we were able to solve the most pressing issue for this ship is the crew. So going from two to four crew in the first sector is really good. So if we can get one weapon upgrade, we'll be sitting pretty. You sleeping dragon, you can be a slug. Yes. Doors is no. Later in the game, maybe it's it's cheaper than uh, upgrading the doors, but we already have um we already have a door upgrade already. I'm not sinking. 25 scrap this early in the game into absurdly high level <laughs> absurdly high level on the doors <laughs> it just comes out as uh, sleeping <laughs> judge t1 was that a request for a name I'm sorry if it wasn't clear all right so uh, let's go to the Zoltan sector there should be more um, there should be more um, uh, shops in there, and we're kind of looking for shops right now. Okay, nothing immediately visible. So because there's nothing immediately visible, I'm going to do this. And then we'll save now for a future store. Could just use SD if you'd prefer, certainly. Okay, request for a name. There you go. All right. Um, so we'll hit the. We'll. Uh, let's see. Let's go here because we need to see if there are shops, and then we'll probably loop up through the nebula and then down and around. But we need to. We want to see if there's stores down here. Hey, yeah, no worries. It's one of the fun things about FTL is it's pretty interactive. Okay, so for this battle. Um, there is a med bay, but we, we can probably go for the crew kill because this, this ship can't hurt us, so we might as well go for it. Also, we can probably kill some of the crew when they come over here, yeah. Oh, um, let's do this. See if, see if we can get him to run in the med bay. Excellent. Now we, mu now we mug this guy. Again, they can't hurt us, so we can just do this. They will not be able to teleport this guy back. He'll be dead before that can happen. Nice. All right, how about you send somebody else over? No, no, seriously, please send someone else over to the ship. All right, well, there's not really any point in firing the bio beam here. Maybe they'll be dumb and send someone else over to us. Two men bay. Oh, but it's on fire. Excellent. We can tell from the animation that the men bay is on fire. They'll probably just repair it. Yeah, that's the problem. They're probably just going to repair it, but we'll give it our best shot. If only it was a level 1 med bay and not a level 2 med bay. I don't think I want to use breach bombs just trying to get that. Well, let's do this. Maybe we can take out the shields. Okay. I would love it if they would teleport someone over to me, but I don't think they're going to do that. Okay, they did not heal the NG. Look at that. He took a bio beam shot. They didn't heal him. So maybe we can get this. Interesting. Got him. All right, now it's down to just uh, this dude. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, we took the shields down, so the bio beam can just fire whenever. One more hit and he's dead. He's still working on the shields. So this is like manipulating AI, like they will they try to repair the um, shields over like any other priority. There we go. All right, crew kill it is. Oh, there's a store, nice. See, this is why you want to see what's at the beacons, just because you never know. Um, now, can I go here, 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 here? I don't know if I have enough time for that. 
I wish I had a little bit more scrap, but I guess I do have stuff to sell. Like, I could sell the bio beam or the breach beam if I have, if there's good stuff there, so. So we don't need crew. Is this, all right, well, we have the option to get the defensive drone here, maybe. But I feel the need to upgrade weapons, too. I think I would really like to get this hull laser. And I can afford it, but if I sell the breach bomb, I think that's worth doing. Just because that gets me up to four shots. And then we're good on weapons for a while. Yeah, I think that we can, I think that's the play here. Sell the breach bomb and run this. Just so I have four shots, and then we can keep biobeaming people longer. We don't need crew, we picked up crew. I would dearly like this, but I just don't have enough money for it. I would like this even more, but cloaking's so expensive early in the game. Like, drone control plus hull repair would be incredible, but... Alright, so sell the breach. Buy the hull laser. Little extra tidbits for the ship. Alright. And we can now run this for four shots, and that keeps us... So now we're now we're good on weapons for a little bit. Now we can uh, upgrade the upgrade the ship a bit. Get the get to level four engines, and then we'll probably and then upgrade weapons a little bit more. I wouldn't mind being able getting up to um, higher tiers of weapons to fire them, but we might also just save scrap for a little while too. And we're good on fuel because we got all that fuel earlier. All right, so our all right, so our weapons are outclass this ship by a lot. Um, this, this ship can't really hurt us either. So we'll pull the same move as before. See if we can get him to run in the med bay and just kill him. Yep, all right. You know the drill. Go get him! <laughs> Easy way to take out one dude over there. All right. All right, back to your places. That was <laughs> that was easy enough. We actually only need one shield bubble for this battle, too, because they only have one weapon. All right, how do we want to attack this? Uh, let's take out their shields, and then we can just try to biobeam them with the shields down. Got one point of damage on the shields. Fortunately, they have a super slow repairing mantis in there. One of them went off to heal, the other one did not. Oh, we got a fire in the med bay. Excellent. So this should kill the mantis. Won't stretch far enough, but let's get one one of them gone first. Oh, there oh, he's dead. He's so dead. There's a fire uncontrolled in there right now. Okay, welcome aboard, another crew guy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the Mantis ships that are very weak um, are, are, are pretty nice to go after. <laughs> so now we have like incredible door controls. Oh, there's another store, but we don't have any scrap to spend, so it would just be a waste to go there right now. Oh well. So there's probably not going to be any more stores this sector. So we might be able to save up quite a bit of scrap here. All right, now this ship is very dangerous, so I'm glad that I have the hull laser. So we just fire as soon as the pulse goes off. Oh, another, another all right, well. Get him, NGs. Our shield should stay up in time to block these. Alright, nice. And then now... Alright, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Alright, meanwhile we should be able to kill this guy. I don't know why he decided to run into the med bay, but uh... They can't teleport him back, so... Actually, we can probably just biobeam them to death at this point. Because they have no shields, we'll take out their med bay. Oh, they got him back. Ah, that's annoying. 
So much for your med bay. All right. Okay, we're going back to their normal stations. All right, well, they seem to be in not especially great shape over there. Well, that was, that, that was a thing. All right, let's heal our dudes. And then we can get out of here. Huzzah for cruelty. <laughs> I <laughs> think we're like, oh, we're, we're playing a ship and gonna commit war crimes today. So like the bio beam you do, you do generally have to drop it later in the game because it just becomes too like tiresome to try to manage it. But uh, it's certainly good in the early game. Oh, we can't, we have to power the engines to get out of here. Charge. All right. Hit these two nebula. So we're in very good shape right now. I'm just trying to see what connects. Looks like it's best to approach from the bottom over there. Oh, mind control. But otherwise, but can't otherwise not dangerous. Can't hurt us. Okay. So this is another bio beam. Uh, ship to go after. Let's just take out the shields and then we'll biobeam on the second volley. Okay. You just, just slap each other for a minute. Ship can't hurt us though, so. Alright, you guys go heal for a sec. much easier to use the bio beam with the uh, shields down. All right. And and since I don't have to worry about weapons, I can afford to do that kind of thing. Okay. Let's uh, let's hit you two. I'm gonna wait until he has this repaired and then hit with weapons. Okay. Like that. Oh, oops. I didn't get through. I was slightly too slow. Oh well. Slightly too slow there. Now the rock will take another volley to kill, but I don't know where he's going. I guess he's going back to, uh, to the pilot the ship? Okay, whatever. All right, well, scratch another crew member from over there. <laughs> They can keep messing around with the... Oh, there's a fire in there. Excellent. Like, they can keep messing around with this all they want. Alright, one more shot should do it. It's really easy when the, uh, when the other ship can't hurt you with any of their weapons. So I've never had two Vulcans before. Vulcan tends to be not an especially good weapon. It's like a win more. Nice. The six fuel was really nice there. Vulcan tends to be kind of a win more. Like if you're already winning it, you win harder, but it doesn't change doesn't like cause you to win fights that you would be losing otherwise. Second anti-bio beam. <laughs> yeah, double bio beam is a little interesting. <laughs> I mean you would kill the crew very quickly. Oh, there's no encounter here? Huh, okay. Oh, they revealed the sector. Nice. Okay, so we can go here, here. I don't know if we'll have time to get both of these, but we'll certainly hit at least the first two. So we've got a lot of lot of scraps saved up. Alright, another battle that can't hurt us. So Yeah, so like we actually got some of the most difficult encounters at the very start of sector one, and they've actually been easier since then. In the next sector, we'll start seeing them pop up with um, two shield bubbles, and then, then we're going to need both of these. So I probably want to upgrade weapons so I can have all three of these weapons in place simultaneously. I think that's the next move. Uh, anyway, we'll hit shields. All 
I was trying to like angle the bio beam because I knew this guy was gonna run into the shield room, so like angle it slightly to the left so that he goes uh <laughs> so that he like runs into the path of the beam. Yeah, I thought he might turn around and head the other direction, but that's fine. We'll just get him with the next beam. I was just making sure that this slug died. <laughs> Dodge this. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's, he's running. Well, dodge this. Ooh, oh, that's a lot of intruders on board. Okay. Uh, this ship actually can damage us, so... Let's shoot out their weapons first for safety, because we're probably going to have to fight these guys. Let's actually bring you up here. Probably our best hope is to just 4v3 them, after they've already taken some damage from oxygen deprivation. So this is a more dangerous battle. Pretty sure we've got them, but... Alright, some good dodges there. Alright, yeah, let's just take out their weapons first. Okay, so you're taking a lot of... Hmm, probably gonna have to rotate you. You should win this, and then you I'll just run out of the room. Let's not have you die. Can someone hit this guy, please? I think I'm just gonna kill this ship because of the difficulty of dealing with this. And they have a med bay over there. Three mantis order is not a not a joke. Yeah, uh, we'll just take out this ship. Gotten enough crew kills. Alright. I mean, we'll try to get more, don't get me wrong, but um Given that they had a med bay and three other people over there, I figured let's just take them out. Hey Rayson. Welcome. Yeah, I don't think I have time to go here, here, here. I mean, I could, I could definitely hit this, but I'm pretty sure I hit the Rebels at the exit, and I'd rather, I'm off to a good start, let's not chance it. This run's actually going really well, so we'll just skip that encounter. Alright, this, oh, usually this just gives you a small amount of scrap. Okay, two borders. We'll have another big shindig in the weapons room again, two before them. All right, well, their weapons are irrelevant, so. Uh, the downside is they have double shield bubbles, so we have to kill their shields first before we do anything else. Oh, you're taking a lot of damage here. Let's just make sure you don't die. All right, there we go. Let's heal some of you dudes, just for safety's sake. So, since they can't hurt us, let's target their shields instead. And then, if we can pop their shields, then maybe we can try to biobeam them. But let's see if we have success getting their shields first. Right. I want to heal up my crew, just because it took a lot of damage killing those guys. Alright, back to your stations. Oh, was that a fire in there? Okay. Looks like there's a... Fire in there? No. Oh, what are they, What's going on over on their ship? Well, in any case, we're gonna try to punch out their shields. That works. All right. Now I think we can maybe start bio beaming them. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. <laughs> or not. Them having cloaking and two shield levels is a lot for this stage of the game. All right. Got one of their crew. Who's already low on HP. This dude's healing. But 
this guy we should probably get. I mean, at this point, the only drama is like, will we kill them? Will the crew die first or will the ship die first? That's one of them dead. Problem is I can't do much more damage to the hull. Because it's on 2 HP. So, alright, so here's how we have to do this. We have to pop a shield bubble with the first shot and then kill this guy with the bio beam before the second shot hits. So this timing has to be really good. Oh, he had enough health, he didn't die from the beam. Oh well. Nice. Big reward there. Oh well. <laughs> he had a... So the, um, the bio beam does 60 damage, he had more than 60 HP. Oh well. Oh, he died from the laser? Didn't that break the hull, though? He ate the civilian ship. Excellent. Okay, so this ship has missiles, so... Gotta take out the missiles before we can fiddle with the bio beam. Don't want to get caught by the missiles. We actually need one shield bubble, though, so let's get the extra evade. I didn't... Yeah, I didn't... Oh, I didn't destroy the ship. I guess you guys are right. Alright, can we get the 25% dodge here? No, we get hit. Okay. Let's repair that then. Alright, that's what we wanted. I'm not gonna fool with the crew. I'm not gonna go for the crew kill. I don't wanna get hit by missiles. It's too risky. Let's just do what we can. There is a fire in there. Maybe if I can do enough damage to the crew. But, um, alright. Fortunately, they got the weaker of the two weapons back online first. Like, they don't have a... They do not have a med bay, so... Like, they, they could just end up dying from accumulated damage over time. If that's the case, maybe we can break out the bio beam, but I really don't want to get hit by missiles here, so... I mean, they also have an NG who's repairing super fast, so... Uh, the only weapon we've picked up is the whole laser. Just a basic whole laser one. That I bought at a store. Killed the NG. Problem is, at this point, the hull has 2 HP, so... Yeah. And I said, don't want to go for crew kills where it's too dangerous to do so. Oh. Cool. Got the little repair. So we, now we're pretty rich as far as uh, scrap goes. I'm just going to check to see if there's a store visible at the start of the next sector. Oh, and I was correct. If we had gone here, we would have hit the Rebels. I knew it was close. It's exceedingly close. Um, do I want to go to a rock sector? Usually I like to get the extra fights, but they love their missiles. I'll go to the civilian sector. Normally I like the red sectors because you get more encounters on average, but rocks love their missiles. Alright, and there's a store right here. So this is why it's often useful not to spend your scrap until you see the beginning of the next sector, because there could be a store right at the entrance, and that's what we have here. So we got a lot of money to spend. Let's see what we can pick up. All right, backup battery, I think we want. Ah, kind of a disappointing store. I really, there's a weapon pre-igniter, but I think that that's a, I think that's a bait. Um, disappointing that this wasn't the previous store that had hacking and defensive drone. I would have probably tried to pick up both if possible, but we'll just get the backup battery. I don't think we need sensors because we have the slugs. Um, and since there's nothing else immediately visible, so we'll upgrade the ship's weapons so that now we can run all three weapons if we need to. Now it's time to start saving again. Good news is with um, four shots, we can get through shields with two shield bubbles. No, not really any problem. Could get sensors. Uh, I mean, it would remove them from the list, but again, that's 40 scrap that I think can be better spent. No, we, that's a bad deal. There's another store, but obviously it's pointless because we just spent our scrap. Sadly, this store probably has better stuff, but not much we can do about it. We don't have any money to spend right now. Oh, a Vulcan. Interesting. Well, since they hacked our engines, we might as well power up the bio beam here. They don't have a med bay, so... Um, we do have the possibility of getting the crew kill. We just have to knock the Vulcan offline, which should be pretty easy to do. Or we could miss three out of four shots. That's also possible. 
So we better have a, a need to have a better volley than this here, because we do not want that Vulcan to get spun up. All right, good. That's all we needed. Sadly, I cannot hit two out of three crew members, so we'll just biobeam the first dude. But that's all we need to do. Just get one point of damage on the Vulcan. Stop it from spinning up. Oh, we might as well power the oxygen here. Wow. <laughs> not, the, uh, not the greatest combat for the gunners here. Really, really glad that uh, we got that, knocked that offline. All right, there we go. You're dead. So now someone else will come over to repair and we get to repeat the same thing. <laughs> Who's our weapons person? ST Sleeping Dragon. Oh, we actually have faster charge already. All right. And where, where's this guy gonna run? Okay. Running into the engine room now, all right. Doing this to avoid killing the hull unnecessarily. Wait, fire. Oh, it's not charged yet? Oh. Oh, wow. I fired too soon. Holy cow. That's, an that's annoying. I thought it was fully charged. It was not. That's pretty annoying. At least they're both in the same room now. I figured that with no one in the piloting room. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. Wish that store had been over on the east side of this sector instead of right there at the entrance. Alright, cool. Quest, well, we can certainly hit that. Here's a potential to get another crew member. Uh, I don't think this ship can hurt us again, so... Yeah. And they don't have a med bay, so... We try to kill everybody again. Right, shoot at weapons. Uh, shoot at shields, because they can't hurt us. Make it easier to get through the ship. That was pretty much perfect. We hit two crew members and we did not damage the hull. I'll just try to farm dodges here. Like that. Uh, so we renamed Wenli, Sleeping Dragon, and Judge TI. These two, Lombard and Willow, are free for anyone who wants to claim them. Alright, well, so much farewell to those two. So this should be another very easy crew kill, although I'd be happy to start moving out of the bio beam soonish, because we are starting to hit the point where it just gets too difficult to kill crow. I can certainly rename one of those two after Licky, Licky Kitty. Oh, this guy's moving. We still got him though. Stuff. Lombard becomes Nikki. <laughs> the NG Doc Brown. There you go. Alright, on we go. So, despite the bajillion fuel I've picked up, I'm still getting low. Uh, they got a lot of lasers, but we can. I think we can do better. Don't hack shields or weapons. Okay, that uh, engines are not great, but because it's gonna make it harder to dodge these shots. And, but try to get as much evade as possible. Now, gotta get that shield bubble repaired. Looks like gonna need a good need a good volley here. Alright, we took out one of the two guns. That's all we have to do, just take out one of the two. And make sure our shields are repaired. Oh, they have a cloning bay over there, don't they? Okay. Alright, let's 
let's try this. With the cloning bay, we're not going to be able to get a crew kill. All we can do is just take them offline temporarily. Alright, so the good news is their weapons are now desynced, like they're not firing at the same time. Oh wait, no, they are, they're back to synced again. How did that happen? How? How exactly did they get them synced up again? Well, let's put the fire out first. Well, this ship's weapons are dangerous enough that we can't really fiddle around with trying to kill the crow. Uh, and then let's have you guys fix this. I mean, I guess we can take people offline, get them out of the fight temporarily, which is a which is a win. It is a more generous bribe, but at this point I think they need to pay. <laughs> they must pay for the what they've done to us. So we got the cloning bay offline. So now we just need to kill this dude. Alright, that's what I thought. Nice, they're dead. Actually, I don't think that's as good as what the surrender offer was. Oh, cool. Heh, <laughs> but we got a post-battle event that repaired us. Once your fuel shield bubbles down, could you put that power in the engines? Uh, you can actually, yes. If you, if you really, um, are on top of the micro, yes, you can. Usually I am not, uh, usually I don't micro to quite that extent, but you're right. It is, that is something you can do. You can transfer power there at the last second. So the quest may give us a store, just in case it does, I'm gonna hold this scrap for right now. Even though I could clearly use a little bit more power. Uh, I would love, but I am not going down to two fuel. Sorry. Oh, there's a store. I probably can't hit the quest if I do this, but I'd rather go to the store. We need fuel and maybe we can buy something. Long range scanners. Chain laser. Oh, the charge laser would be great. A lot of good stuff here. Charge laser would be good because uh, it pairs really well with the dual laser. Anyway, so we're obviously picking up this. That's not even up for debate. We got the system repair drone. Do we sync everything into this? I think so. And then... Because, like, this is... This is one power. Um, and, then the, and then the charge laser is three power. So that would give us one, two, three, four, and then potentially four, up to eight shots if we need it. Yeah, and then we just need hacking. Uh, so yeah, I think I will sell the anti-bio, but I think I'll sell it at like the next store I hit. Actually, I probably do need to sell it because I need to buy fuel. <laughs> Cause I'm low on fuel. All right, and then now we need to upgrade weapons so we can use this. I'm aware we don't have enough power to run it. Oh wait, we can run it with the backup battery. We can run it with the backup battery. Nice. <laughs> Might be best time to transition out of Yordle income. Indeed. All right, so now we're pretty set on weapons. So now we want to upgrade defensive systems and look to try to find like hacking and defensive drone. Hacking would be really good with this setup because we have so many potential laser shots. We won't be able to get to that quest, but oh well. That was a good store. It was a good store. All right, now I wish that I had hit this before the store because uh, then I could have sold this, but that's, you know, whatever. Water under the bridge. Note that even though I bought the full six fuel, I'm almost out. Obviously we're not gonna pay for that. Okay, so they've got a... This whole lunch over there. Oh, I still can't. That's right. I have to upgrade systems to use this. Oops, that's right. Forgot about that. Hopefully, our, fortunately, this ship only has one shield bubble, so we really need to upgrade weapons. It is, uh, this is one, two, three, um, I think it's 70 scrap for this upgrade, so it's not cheap. All right, do your job, gunners. That was not your job, gunners. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, do your job, Gunners. Oh boy, don't hit something critical here. Uh, Wenli, you are a god among slugs. Alright, there we go. Pretty much battle over now. <laughs> Farewell war crimes beam, yeah. <laughs> wow. The gunner is not exactly having a lot of luck here. Only one shield bubble. Can you imagine if this ship had two shield bubbles? How much we'd be struggling? That's why we want to get that extra weapon in play. Alright, there we go. Got a hull breach. So that way, that's not coming back online anytime soon. Now let's take out the shields. Where do we want piloting? Shields are good. There we go. So when the shields are down, we don't have to fire in synced volleys. We can just fire instantly. Uh, we also have a hull laser, remember? Does double damage to the empty hull. I'm going to take this because I need the fuel. I don't want to be fiddling around with low fuel. Okay. Whatever that means. Oh, there's an encounter here. But I don't want to hit the rebels. My engines aren't upgraded. So I'm just going to go to the exit. Oh, well. We've got long-range scanners, so... Oh, 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 we got them cell missiles. Excellent, excellent. This is great. Got all these extra missiles. That's really good. All right, so now we can upgrade that, and now we can use all three of our weapons. Uh, what do we want to put in the... This, this should probably be in the first slot. Yeah, and then the dual lasers. And we'll put whole laser in the slot that we lose if we take damage. Mantis, done. Mantis ships should be are exactly what we want to fight. Because we're actually really strong against borders. We have five crew and we have like super doors here. Come on, computer. <laughs> yeah, I think that this is right. The green sectors are good if you're behind the curve. If you're like ahead of the curve, the red sectors are better. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. How do we hit all these encounters? I don't know if we'll be able to get to this one. So let's make sure we hit the three that are at the bottom. All right, so here's our chance to get, um, yes, wait, no, there we go. I do need to get a power upgrade. All right, uh, here, come on into the, nope, he wants to go in, all right, well, that's fine. You can go in the med bay, we'll rumble with you in there. Oh, no, he actually wants to, okay, well, whatever. pulling someone off weapons, but whatever. Oh, I already have as much of aid as I can manage. Alright. Right. Then it was my volley's turn. Alright, that was a bomb exploding, so it didn't do any damage. Alright, let's just make sure you don't take too much damage here. We'll just switch who's tanking. They'll probably pull this guy back to their ship. Yeah. Alright. Let's get you back in the weapons room over here to repair. But uh, we kind of crippled their ship there, so... Let's make sure you don't run away now. Okay, I was just worried that the bomb would hit Doc Brown. Because remember, your crew members can die if they take damage from bombs, too. Alright, so we do not have enough power to run any system other than weapons and shields, but we can take down the uh, shields because they have no weapons that can hit us. Oh, hey, you want to come into the med bay? Cool. Let's rumble. Let's do it. They do have a bomb, but shields don't do anything about it. It's bombs, of course. And it missed anyway. <laughs> I love gunships. Oh! And there's our weapon setup. Now we don't need any more weapons for the whole game. If I saw the hover beam, I'd replace with this with it, but... That's four shots, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> now, would we want to replace any of these with the chain? I don't think so, because the chain takes so long to spin up. So we got our weapon set up now. All right, we do need more power, though. Kind of running on minimal power here. All right, yeah, we just need to farm scrap now. And uh, we can hold for um, uh, enough scrap to buy systems. We're only in Sector 4, and we already have a 
10 shot weapon layout. Yeah, just need to farm scrap and we've got long range scanners to do it. So we're looking really good. Uh, do I give them four fuel? I only have 10, sure. Oh, actually that's, so that was, we traded four fuel for 25 scrap there. Not bad. Of course we will need to get more fuel. So I will have to take surrender offers. Um, I want to head to the top side of the map. So why don't we go here, here, and then up and over. We got the guns. Yeah. Where do I want to go over to the right side? No, I want to get to the top side of the map. Just need to make sure, just need to take fuel surrender offers if they come in. But uh, getting the reactor upgrade was pretty good. We just need to not run out of fuel now. We could use some more evade as well. Because like we only have, we have not maxed out our dodges yet. All right, come on, there we go. Not too bad, we only took one point of damage. Considering the amount of stuff they were throwing at us, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, hacking would be amazing with this setup, because we can potentially fire eventually up to 10 shots at once. Uh, let's just make sure they don't run. <laughs> so like the first two or three shots took out the evade, so then every other shot that came flying in was a guaranteed hit. Our current volley right now is seven shots on a 15 second cooldown, which is, yeah, goodbye. All right, we got two fuel left. and 30 scrap. Very nice. Now this does connect. Oh, oh, okay. So we really have to be on the top side of the map because there's a very narrow connection to the exit here. Kind of a weird uh, layout for the sector. Again, I will take um, surrender offers if they give us fuel because that's what I need right now. All right, that have have fun not breathing, buddy gonna take you a while to get through that, and then I'll have two NGs ready to fight you. So, how close are we to maxing out evade? Licky only needs one more dodge to get plus two evade. And hit weapons. Alright, it's gonna hit the med bay. That's fine. Alright. And it was our turn. Oh, we did enough damage to put the missiles back online. Fire another missile. Oh well. Battery. Okay. This should knock the missiles off. There we go. Also killed that guy. Where's our uh, Where's our bio beam now? Could it absolutely kill this guy. All right, let's go for the full charge. Eight shots here. Oh, we actually killed that guy. Oh, that was the guy who teleported. So we actually killed him with laser fire. Oh, nice. That three fuel was big. So we actually did get a crew kill in an unorthodox way by killing him with lasers. <laughs> Thanks, Grillo. See you in a bit. The unorthodox crew kill. All right, let's see what's up here. Again, I'm kind of saving because I'm hoping I can hit a store and get... All right, so they'll try to run. Ooh, and they got nasty weapons here. Nasty weapons, all right. And they're boarding, okay. Um, I'm gonna need this guy to help as well. Unfortunately, NGs are not great at fighting. So we have to, we have to target their piloting first because of this. Actually, I'm probably going to need this guy to come over, too, at some point. Because, like, I can't shoot at the weapons first. It's level 3 piloting as well. That's not great. At least we dodged, but I have no idea if we'll be able to shoot fast enough to knock out this flak, too. Alright, let's get you over here. We're going to have to rotate in for the borders. Yeah. they're running so uh, this is gonna hurt no way around it this is gonna hurt all right uh, let's keep everybody in place for the time being 
I, uh, yeah, they're charging again. Yeah, these are the, these are nasty battles because you can't you can't shoot at the weapons because they're trying to run. Um. That could have been a heck of a lot worse. That's honestly not that bad. Could have been a lot worse. We, all right, we got a fire in the in the piloting room. So now, uh, let's have you work on the fix the backup battery. At least we got everybody back to their normal spots. Yeah. So they have to put out the fire before they can get the um, engines online. So we're we're clear to shoot at weapons here. Actually, and let's have you fix the engines. That's a higher priority. <clears throat> Nasty, nasty fight. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, no, good question. I have not heard back on... I actually have not heard anything from the repair shop. I don't think they've even looked at it yet. We have a repair shop near us that's very good, but because they're very good, they're very busy. And I don't think they've even looked at it yet, even though I dropped it off three weeks ago now. Lasers, is there anything they can't do? So I was fortunate that the enemy shots never hit, um, never hit uh, weapons or shields in that fight. It could have been much worse than what we. I mean, we took like four or five damage, which is a, which is a pretty good result. All right, there's a store right there. Perfect. So we'll be able to hit the store with 150-ish scrap to spend. Yeah. Like this ship doesn't even remotely compare to the one we just fought. Again, enjoy not breathing. The super doors and then two NGs ready to fight. Oh, I actually have all my weapons charged. What am I waiting for? Yeah, you you better run. Have fun over there. Now we just shoot out their um, piloting to make sure they don't run away. And this is an infinitely easier battle than the one we just fought. Is this the Kazakh Cliff quest, or in any case, we'll just kill their ship? Goodbye. Okay. Nice. We'll take that fuel. Like ten fuel is fine. You just you don't really you start to get concerned when it gets down under ten, uh, under like six or so. All right, store. Give me something good. Show me defensive drone. Show me hacking. We don't need weapons at this point. No. Uh, well, we'll pick up the drone control. We could pick up drone control with defense two. It's a possibility. We can certainly sell this. Uh, I think I do want to get this. I think it's worthwhile to spend the scrap on this. We have plenty of scrap. So even though it doesn't have the defensive drone, I think we still want this. And sell the system repair. Get the drone two, which of course is not as good as drone one, even though it costs more but it does give us some missile protection. So now we have to upgrade this so we can run it. Hate that it costs three power. Uh, we want to fix up the hole a little bit. And now I need to get shields upgraded to the, to the third bubble. And that's our next goal. So one is better than two because one um, only targets missiles. Two will target anything that's coming in. So it will frequently waste its time shooting at lasers, which the shields will block instead of hitting missiles. Now that said, the advantage of Defensive 2 is that it will, it does have a higher rate to intercept. I believe Defensive 1 is like 70% and I think this one is 85%, so I think it does have better odds to shoot down missiles. It's just if there's a big volley of stuff coming in, it's less likely to target what you actually want it to target. Um, and it does cost 3 power instead of 2. Really good question, because it is counterintuitive that Defensive Drone 1 is typically better. All right. Still a good store, because we don't need weapons, and we did get an important system. So now we just need to get more scrap, and we want to get the next shield bubble. No. I wouldn't have paid for that even if I had the money. Excellent. Two more encounters. Remember, we have to go this way to the exit, so we're kind of constrained in where we can go. Again, despite buying 10 billion fuel, I'm still... 
running lowish on fuel. Okay, this ship can hurt us. If the two shield bubbles get popped and then the mini beam goes off, we can take damage. I don't know where this guy's going, but he can just hit the doors for the time being. <laughs> I believe the mini beam will fire first, so we should be okay as long as we have a decent first volley. Alright. Yeah, the mini beam fired first before the um, heavy laser fired. And it just hit the shields harmlessly. two guys to tie up this person for a little bit. They'll almost certainly just recall him, but uh, actually we'll, we can take out shields here. We'll just make this easier. Just so one person's not tanking too much damage. Oh yeah, we can just fire the charge laser, that's right, because they don't have any shields up. It's always kind of amusing when they have no shields. So as much as I would like to get engines up, now that I have the defensive drone, it's a slightly lower priority to upgrade engines, higher priority to upgrade the shields, because now we have the, we can put up the defensive drone if a missile's incoming. Oh, I'd love to go there, but going there would be suicide, because I would have no way to get to the exit. <laughs> well, I had 10 fuel. I thought that I was okay. But yeah, I could have bought more fuel, it's true. Uh, I have not been getting a lot of fuel from killing ships on this run. Alright, let's get additional evade here. Nice. Okay, good. Pretty good weapons over there, but we got a good first volley. We actually hit, like, every single shot. They have enough shields that I'd love to take out some of their shields here while I have a free moment to hit them. Yeah, see, that can also happen. You get a volley like that. That's why hacking is so good, because you just take the RNG element out of it. And of course, once our backup battery drops out, we lose a lot of our evade. Alright, gotta hit weapons again now. Well, we just killed one of the crew members, so... <laughs> That'll slow down the repairing a little bit. Uh, now that their hull's low, we have to target piloting, just in case they decide to run when their health gets low. And that's exactly what they did, so... Correct prioritization. This one could have gone bad if we had bad uh, fight RNG on, but the first volley was really good, so that removed the danger. Alright, um... No, I think the next shot's just gonna come in and kill them. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure the next shot's just gonna kill them. Yeah, we got a little bit more. Alright, oh cool. Another fight. So we're getting close to enough to upgrade the... Oh, ship's gonna run. Ooh, this is a fight that's super easy if we have um, three shield bubbles, but because we don't, we I, I think we have to target weapons first. The double heavy lasers are just too dangerous. Now, I could put a defensive drone up, and that actually... I don't think I have the, the power to run that, though. Uh, maybe we'll give it a try, because it should shoot down one of the lasers, and then I actually do have enough defenses. I'm going to give that a try, because then I can target um, piloting. So this should shoot down one of the lasers. Or it could do nothing. That that works too. Fortunately, we were in between shots there. Alright. Nice. Alright, we took out the piloting. So now we should be safe, hopefully. Maybe the defensive drone will actually shoot down one of the lasers this time. Nope. Continues to do nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought I had come up with a creative way to handle this battle, but uh, it just has not done anything. Alright. These shots are guaranteed to get through because we took out the piloting. Yeah, once again, all three times it just did nothing. So, there you go. Defensive drone too. Even when I'm trying to be creative and using it, it just does nothing. Womp womp. So I'm going to hit the um, engines here because piloting is probably about to get repaired and I don't want this ship to run. There we go. Watch, I bet piloting um, will probably uh, turn yellow or something in a second. If not, it's not a big deal. Alright, whatever. It didn't. So we could have gone after shields, but whatever. Alright. Hey, two fuel. 
17 scrap. Trying his best. All right. Oh, nice. We'll just take that. So uh, that's something we can sell at the next store. And looks like we timed that about as well as we could have. I guess we could have gotten one more jump, but I'm pretty happy with that. All right, no option. We have to go to Zoltan. I would like to upgrade the shields. Don't... Ugh, the exit's in a horrible spot. This is about as far forward as it can be. Pretty, pretty bad. Now, the store, I wouldn't mind going there, but uh, I don't actually want to spend money on anything at the store. I want to upgrade my shields next, so I think we'll just skip that for the time being. Uh, we'll go to the encounter and see if there's anything at these down here. Favorite sector to go to? I don't know if I have a favorite sector. Good question, though. Could dive past the exit, that's true. I almost certainly will have to. So the mini beam should fire. Oh, that's right. I can actually just fire the charge laser as soon as it's charged. Good. Fortunately, those weapons are not synced immediately. All right, there we go. Got through there. I'm just hoping that this will not line up. All right, good. Their weapons did not line up. Thank goodness. But let's start getting some evade now because we are going to need this. Yeah. All right. That kind of removes any danger from this battle. Because that's obviously the mini beams can't do anything if they can't get through our shields. Since there's no danger, we can target shields instead of piloting their weapons. Shields are like a luxury. It's awesome to deal damage to the enemy shields, but um, there's usually more important stuff you have to target first. Like right now, we want to make sure they don't run, so let's. All right, or we could just kill them. That works too. We could also just kill them. Uh, I'm not paying 40 scrap for another crow. We're, we already have five crew. We're already in pretty good shape there. All right, that gives us enough scrap to do this. Get the next shield bubble. Well, the bottom side of this map is somewhat disappointing. I guess we'll just go here and then loop up to the top. Double missiles. Well, the good news is we do have a way to defend against that. Also, we don't need a lot of uh, uh, shield defense. We only need two bubbles for this fight. We'll just put this up right away because we know we're going to need it. Get what evade we can. Alright. Oh, it's going to hit weapons, isn't it? Oh, no. It's going to hit drones? Well, that's actually not great for this battle. So we kind of need that. We'll get it repaired quickly. Okay. That means we can take down one of the shield bubbles. Hopefully we get this repaired. All right, so that lets us... Uh, this is offline, so we don't need to power the... Sh only need to power one shield bubble. Okay, that works. There we go. Unfortunately, shot down the wrong uh, one because we lost our weapons there, but we'll be able to get that repaired quickly. I'll just, yeah, let this charge up. Okay. So we just need the one shield bubble at the moment. Um, let's let this, yeah, well, let's go for with five shots here. Oh, they're out of missiles now. <laughs> okay. They used up all their missiles because they were firing two of them at a time. Okay. Well, that means the battle's very easy now. Uh, we do need a second shield bubble, though. Because they have both of the other weapons online. Alright. Yeah, they, they've repaired their weapons, but now they can't do anything with their weapons because they ran out of missiles. Uh, so let's take out their shields. No, that's right. I can just fire the charge laser when they have no shields. The laser does double damage to empty hull. Oh, nice. 41 scrap. Wow. On hard, you uh, don't see scrap drops like that very often. Okay. 
there's no store in range. Um, do I keep hitting these encounters down here? I want to curve up to the top side. You know, there's a lot of encounters at the top side. We might as well take this while we're down here. But uh, let's get one more power bar, because I, uh, I was running on very low reactor. Um, so now we've got the th third shield bubble and enough power to use it. Let's upgrade engines, and uh, then we'll save again after that. Kind of going through this sector in a very strange way. Okay, so just fire these. Uh, you can slap this guy. We should be okay now that we have the third shield bubble, because we have three shields to block their stuff. We'll get extra evade just in case, but we should be okay. You guys probably need to heal after slapping each other around. Alright, good. Got through their Zoltan shield pretty quickly. They have not had any success in getting through our uh, defenses. Now let's take their weapons offline. Good stuff. So Wenli is almost maxed out piloting, and then Licky is like halfway there. This is actually a pretty good battle to get dodges from. Alright, this is not a critical system to prevent from being broken, but... That was a terrible volley. <laughs> Thank goodness we have three shield bubbles, because their chain laser's actually gotten spun up now. And we had pretty bad luck on the last volley. Wow. <laughs> You'd think with seven shots I could hit on half of them, but no. Now, if all three of their shots get through and then the fire beam fires, they actually can get through, but they have to have, like, perfect sequencing. We're actually farming a lot of dodges here, unintentionally. There we go. That's a better volley. Okay. I might want to heal you while I have the opportunity here. Because that they're going to use the... Oh, yeah. All right, well. You guys can slap each other in the med bay again. Uh, they have no way to heal, so we might just be able to get a crew kill here by continuously firing on them as they're repairing. Yeah. They're actually very close to dying from fire damage. Like, one more volley might kill them here. Uh, I will take this. Yes, I will accept this surrender offer. Because <laughs> now I can sell the defensive too. Which will be a loss on scrap, because I paid for it, but... That, that works. Alright, well, that was a nice surrender offer from them. <laughs> Why are all the encounters down here? It's okay, we'll hit these and then loop around, I guess. Yeah, that surrender was pretty amazing. Sure would like to hit a store in the near future, because I've got stuff to sell. I was going to upgrade engines, oh well. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we do put up both drones here. No. This is a dangerous ship. Holy cow. Well, we'll definitely need a fit defensive drone for this battle. I wish I'd upgraded Evade, but... I could have uh, put a point in engines after that last fight. But... And we can't take the shields down either. We actually need the shields too for this fight. They got a lot of weapons. Getting hit is not great. Better get a good first volley here. <laughs> it's like, well, we really need a good first volley. Nothing happens. I miss, I miss everything. Let's get that shield repaired. Fortunately, these orders are almost dead. Another... <laughs> At least we can kill these borders. Alright, we got the shields fixed. So who's the actual shield person judge? Doc Brown, you go over and start working on repairing that. Alright, let's 
get everybody back to their normal stations, except you help repair the engines. Let's get that extra shield level up. Alright. Could be worse. Wow. <laughs> uh, I am firing seven shots, right? <laughs> I am firing seven shots at these guys, aren't I? Oh well. I'll take this shield down for the time being, in the hopes of higher evade. Alright, unfortunately this shot has already hit us. Hit engine, okay. I'm more concerned about when the backup battery runs out shortly. A lot of stuff they're shooting at me. They've already fired eight missiles at me. <laughs> no, I don't need to run. I can still beat this ship. They're actually going to be out of missiles pretty soon because they've already fired eight of them. Nice. All right, we dodged that one. Good stuff. Maybe this volley will hit. Yeah, that could have happened on the first volley. Now we don't need shields with the same priority, which is good because we just lost the backup battery. I think that they're, they should be just about out of missiles at this point. So like this will just crash against the shields harmlessly. Yeah, now they're out of missiles. Okay. So now we can run this. Nice. Backup battery plus a dodge, and we're good. Now they're out of missiles, so now the battle's basically over. Woo! Okay! <laughs> so that was the thing that happened. Um, we actually might be able to even kill the crew, because they have no way to heal. Yeah, and they're both in there repairing. We'll see. Yeah, they're on fire. So this dude's gonna run out of the room because he's on low HP. Yeah, so they've just given up on... Uh, we could actually probably just sit back and let fire overtake the entire ship, but let's, we'll try to, let's try to kill this guy first. So he's dead. Now we can try to kill the other crew guy. Alright, he's gonna go in that room as well. Okay. Probably we'll just kill the hull, but we'll give it our best shot. Alright, we actually are guaranteed. So uh, they have no evade and we have six shots, so that'll get us three through. So we'll either kill this guy or destroy the hull. Nice! <laughs> we got the crew kill. And you guys wanted to run from the battle. <laughs> no. Anyway, hey there. Seto Kiaba, haven't get a chance to catch your stream. I read your F2 articles. It helped you get better. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the articles. This is a game where um, watching someone play probably helps more than reading, but I did want to write some stuff too, and certainly I got a lot better at the game over time and practicing. But I'm glad that that was a helpful resource. Okay, so that was a tough battle. <laughs> I guess all the encounters are just down here, so uh, let's clean up down here. I mean, it's like, so we're probably going to get stuck with, like, jump to the exit early, but if we get every single encounter in the sector, does that really matter? I mean, I'm pretty happy if we just get every encounter in the sector. Oh, then the fire. You might be like, what's going on? That was the fire. So hopefully we just hit a store at some point on the northern end of this sector, but for now we'll just continue taking all the battles, because why not? We'd love to get hacking, obviously hacking, cloaking, and uh, hacking would be the biggest thing. Plus, we do have to get this weapon in play at some point, too. Uh, obviously, we have to target weapons here. Now, the good news is we're up to 40% evade because Wenli maxed out evade, and then Licky also maxed out evade. So, 40% gives us pretty good odds. Um, these are beams... Oh, wait, actually, this ship can't hurt us. Because we have three shield bubbles. Even if everything hits, this, this ship can't hurt us. 
so we're totally good. So we'll just go after uh, piloting first then. And then we'll strip off the shields, and that's an easy win. Yeah, they actually can't hurt us, even with that halberd beam. I really think one of the biggest things about this game is just knowing what weapons are on all the enemy ships, because the game does not tell you. All you can do is just see the little graphical indicator. And, like, knowing what they have and then working around what they can do is, like, such a gigantic part of the game. Yeah. Can't hurt us. It took me a minute to realize it, but can't actually hurt us, so... GG, easy fight. 40 scrap. Nice. So we go here, then here, and then we'll try to hit these if they haven't been swallowed up by the rebels. And then we'll have to decide if it's worthwhile to dive past the exit, which it might be or it might not be. Having long-range scanners obviously makes a huge difference. Okay, so this ship also can't hurt me. It can't get through the shields. So the, the, they just have a ton of borders here, so... Uh, we'll just take them on. Oh, we have to be careful because of the Zoltan Death Explosions. Just to make sure nobody's too low on HP. Because we know that they're going to blow up when they get low. out and just have, have you um, tank this. Actually, let's bring you in here. I'm going to move all my low dudes out just so they don't die to the explosions. Uh, we might as well heal this up. We'll pull you out as well. Alright, you should be fine now. I think they do 15 when they blow up. Yeah, 15. Okay. Obviously the weapons are all charged. I just want to make sure, since this ship can't hurt me, I want to make sure nothing, nobody dies to the explosions. That's the higher priority. That's like the only danger in this battle is one of them dying to the explosion. And then we'll get everybody back to their stations. All right. on one HP away. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we can get down to the business. Oh, we should have we should have been firing to strip off their Zoltan shield. I forgot they had a Zoltan shield. Oh, well. Yeah, the, the enemies do use the same weapons as you, which is convenient. Alright, so how do we deal with these guys? They have a med bay, so a crew kill is probably not worthwhile going for. So let's just strip off their shields. I mean, it's possible that if they're in there trying to put out a fire, we just hit them with enough damage that they just die to our our follies and they don't get a chance to heal. Yep, that's what happened. <laughs> so initially we got the crew kills with the bio beam and now we're just getting the crew kills with, um, with pure lasers. So we're gonna keep some scrap in reserve for buying systems the next time we hit a store. Oh God, look at this ship. Double bursts and another laser. Holy cow. We better get a good first volley here. Alright, the first two shots missed. That's good. Because six more are about to come flying in. Alright, we took out one of the guns. Thank goodness. <laughs> I mean, we have three shield bubbles and 40% of aid. That's pretty good. Um... But, like, that can also happen. Note that every shot hit there. <clears throat> nice. All right. <clears throat> they have an NG trying to repair, but yikes. I mean, this ship's weaponry is pretty awesome. At least we're getting some uh, shield experience. I mean, like, that can happen, too. At least the burst 2s are now desynced and they're firing. Like, instead of firing at exactly the same time, there's an interval between when they shoot. Fortunately, our evade's holding pretty strong here. Good piloting. And we've almost got the backup battery back online again. Oh wait, did I not? Ah, I didn't fire the whole laser. That's actually not great. I accidentally just didn't click on it. Um, have, them having an NG on the repair duty is actually pretty bad as well. 
Uh, we actually killed the NG. <laughs> he took so many shots that he just straight up died. Like, when I first started playing the game, I didn't think NG were very good, because they're bad in, you know, fighting. But, uh, they're actually quite... They're actually very, very good units, because being able to repair at double speed is extremely valuable. Like, yes, they suck in combat, but they are very good at getting systems back online. Alright, I'm glad we took no damage. That was not an easy fight at all. Yeah, so, even though we could go there, we can always come back here again later. Let's hit this... And we want to see what's on the top of the sector. I'm really hoping there's a store up there. So, like, I want to see what's up here. And then we can decide if we need to, um, dive past the exit or not. Ooh, I don't remember this one. I gotta look this one up. I know most of these, but I can't remember this one. What appears to be a Zoltan science ship. What happens if you dock? Let's see. Uh, fight a Zoltan ship. Oh, you get a... We get either get a fight or a scrap reward. Okay. Perfect. Alright. So they've got a missile launcher, but of course we have defense against that. And double beams. Alright. Fairly dangerous ship, but... We should have the tools to deal with this now. Actually, do have to keep the shield bubbles up for this fight. Can't just take them down. Nice, good job, defensive drone. Hold, hold, wait, what? Did they they hit my defensive drone with one of their shots? Did that actually happen? All right. So unfortunately, we don't have this up for this missile. So I'd like to hit a store soonish. I guess one of their shots just hit the defensive drone. Oh, we can put it. We can put another one up now, but slightly annoying. All right, our weapons are back up. Let's, let's fry this ship. Well, defensive drone did not shoot down that missile. Remember, sometimes it doesn't do anything. Unfortunately, that was one of those occasions. Had bad luck with the missiles this on this fight for whatever reason. <laughs> it got shot down again. Okay. Good thing we're not hurting for drone parts. But you can see we would like to hit a store soonish, just so we can heal up. We certainly have no lack of scrap. And if we could get like cloaking or something, or hacking would be nice. Uh, we'll go for the crew kill again. And we got it. <laughs> nice. And we got a Zoltan who has engine skill. Cool. Well, we'll just switch you over to... Uh... Actually, no. You human can just be ready to fight people duty. Nice. That's just reactor power for free. <laughs> Some say defensive drone 1 doesn't block laser shots. Indeed. Alright, hey, there's a store. That's what we were hoping for. So it looks like we go store, and then we go here, and then we... Uh, actually, no, we go here, and then we go to the store, and then we go here. Because we can... Wait, can we reach this from here? No, we actually can't reach this. Okay, so we have to go to the store first. This store was perfectly placed, though. Ah, cloaking's in the store. Cool. That's expensive, but we can actually afford it, so... We'll pick that up. And the other thing is we just want to heal. Oh, we actually have also have stuff to sell. We can sell this. I think I sell this as well. So I paid 75, sold for 35. Obviously that's a loss, but we got the defensive drone one and that's all we need. All right, so now we would just like to find hacking. Cloaking is big, it's super expensive, but it's big. So now we, um, now we hold above 80 scrap so we can always pick up hacking if it's in the store. But otherwise, now we try to get our, our last weapon in play, the chain laser. So that's our goal next. Ooh, um... I can go to either of these. What's this one? Asteroid field? Let's just go to the one that doesn't... We can only go to one of the two. Let's go to the one that doesn't have an asteroid field. Um, because that's because then I can upgrade the ship after this fight. 
All right, this should not be too dangerous. I will probably take engines to five here just because it helps with um, dodging the rebel. Now remember we have cloaking available. This is a note to myself as well. It's like, remember you have cloaking available if you need it. Probably shouldn't need it, but you never know. This is a combat two drone, which is annoying. I don't think that this can get through my shields, but in... All right, well, in the case that something like this happens, so that's super annoying. Now we just have to wait for that ion to wear off. Like, if they ion bomb my shield, that would be not good. And then we cloak to at least buy some time. I mean, at least we're getting more uh, shield skill here. All right, now we can finally get our weapons back online. All right, it didn't hit shield. That's the only system that's a true disaster in this battle. It would be if the Ion Bomb hit shields, because it would take out uh, two of the three shield bubbles, which is less than great. All right, well, I'm annoyed by this. Let's just make sure. Well, that Ion Bomb is still available as something that can hit us. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cloak when it goes off. Yeah. Oh, it actually doesn't go off. Okay, never mind. All right. Just wanted to take out the only thing that could actually damage us in the fight, the Ion Bomb. <laughs> Always can have that happen on the, the volleys without hacking. I suppose I could have taken out the combat drone too, although I don't mind. Did we max out shield skill? I think we did, yeah. Shield skill's maxed out now. This, this is over as soon as we get the next volley off. Alright, goodbye. You can't dodge anymore. Alright. So we'll pick this up. Alright. Now we save. Yeah, it's too bad I can't... Too bad I can't jump from here to here, but I can't... So now that we have level 5 engines and cloaking, we should be able to get through this battle without too much trouble. And cloaking, yeah. Alright, so just make sure that we're at full uh, charge. Backup battery to block their missile when it goes off. Cloak the ASB and we're out. Actually, we don't really need all the shield bubbles either. Two should be fine for this battle. I don't really have lasers over there. There we go. Now the one threat in the battle would be if that um, big, uh, I can't remember what the name of this missile is, but that's like a breach hole missile or something. If that hit piloting, then we'd be in trouble. But that did not happen. All right, we want to cloak right about now to dodge the ASB. All right, it didn't actually. It, uh, it doesn't pop up at the same time every so do we want to go to pirate or civilian sector? Probably pirate, even though that does mean I'd have to hit a nebula, which I don't love the nebula sectors, but we'll go to the pirate sector. Clean escape. Easy, easy peasy. I mean, it's easy if you have the right tools, right? Which we did. Oh, cool. So there's two encounters right off the bat. Let's go here. Exit's in kind of a bad spot again. Like, I can't even dive past it. It's a shame. I guess it is at least in the corner, though. So we're just trying to farm scrap to get this weapon in play. Oh, cloaking's annoying here. But uh, we can cloak the um, first three. This should not be terribly dangerous with 45% evade. Yeah, I can just cloak this. I mean, we actually what we can do is we can cloak if the first couple shots hit. So let's buffer this and see. All right, looks like we're dodging just fine, so I can hold the cloaking. Ah, one point of damage. Should have used cloak, because they went off at the same time. All right, well, we won't have to worry about that again. Should have used cloaking there. 
Yeah, uh, I'm of the opinion that you should probably always try to go for three shields unless you, um, unless you're really, like, behind the curve on scrap. Or, uh, four shields, excuse me. It really does help cut down on damage to have it. So the cloaking is making this battle very annoying over there. At least they used up some of their cloak time by firing while they were cloaked. No, they're gonna mess around here. We did not get as much damage through as I wanted there. If there's a fire burning. I can hear it. Oh, in there? Okay. Fortunately, we have NGs to put that kind of thing out. Wow, they have gotten their ship repaired again and again. I'm gonna have to target their weapons again. So, this is another place where NG are really good. Uh, let's just we'll just plug this. There's too many shots coming our way. They're obviously not going to run, so we can target their shields. No, we can do better than that. All right, let's get out of here. So this will lead us down here. So we'll take this. Also get a good view of a bunch of sectors. Obviously, I didn't get to heal my guys, but oh, cool. So we just take some scrap. <laughs> Here's the thing again, where the path is leading me away from some of these. Um, I want to make sure I hit these two encounters, but let's heal the crew while we have a chance here. Again, just kind of holding scrap right now in case we would see uh, hacking in a store. That store is not placed where I want it, unfortunately. So we have just about everything we need. If we can find hacking, then we have, that's like the only other thing we would want to find. But we can, we can do the game even if we don't have it. Uh, yeah, we'll go here. We'll hit these two. If we don't see anything interesting down here, then we'll just curve up to the shop. Although it puts me in a bad spot vis-a-vis -vis the exit. Because I would want to curl up from the bottom to the exit. But I guess I could go here, here. Actually, no. Let's do this. Here, here, here. And then we'll head around. Although, um, the only way to get through here is with is from this... I have time. I can go here, 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 and then I should have time. That shouldn't get swallowed up because this is a nebula. But we want to, like, we're looking for hacking here is the big thing. It, and there it is. All right. That was the last thing we needed. Like, really the last thing we need. We don't need crew. We have six crew. We don't need any other weapons. Hubble is fine. Fuel's fine. Do we have anything to sell? Nope. All right. So we got everything we need. Now we just have to execute the remainder of the run. Obviously, we're not going to give up a crew member. So they're going to slowly board us with two people here. Uh, let's aerate this for right now, and then we'll fight them in, in this room here. We're actually heading over to the cloaking room. Okay, well, have fun over there. took out pretty much all their weapons. Uh, I need someone to make sure they don't pop this before the... Yeah, all right, there we go. Oh, so they're going to go over to the med bay? Excellent. Yeah, let's... You fight in the med bay. All right. Now we have like a bajillion tools at our disposal. I have to remember I have them and don't forget to use them. Uh, sure. Take another crew member. So we got like these extra humans now. Got the human brigade that can just go run and fight people. So seven crew is pretty nice. All right, as I said, we want to be on the bottom side of the map. We won't get to this, but that's okay. Even though there's a fight there, we just like, due to the where the exit's placed, we kind of have to be coming up from the bottom. So I believe this one avoids a fight, but we actually want the fight. <laughs> I believe this one you can get a scrap reward without fighting, but I'd rather just fight. <laughs> So, avoiding the blue option here, because I want the fight. 
The only thing that can hurt me is the missile launcher, so. That would seem to be a very good time to cloak, given that they just fired everything at me. Yeah, it's almost like cloaking is the game's best system. There's a reason why it costs 150 scrap. Yes, I can name the Sultan Bob, certainly. Okay. Maybe should have used hacking here. Oh well. Expensive drone, do your thing. Good job. Actually, it already missed, but... So they'll cloak, and they'll repair stuff. Yeah, hacking might have been useful to use here. Oh well. So we've got cloaking available for this missile. We'll just cloak to dodge this. Uh, they got a... Hmm. They repaired pretty quickly over there. I guess they had NG available. That plus the cloaking was annoying. Uh, we need to put this up. Oh, I thought they fired a missile. I guess I was wrong. Oh well. They don't have a medbay though, so we will just kill their crew with our volleys, like, soon enough. So, like, this is annoying, but they can't really hurt us. My poor defensive drones are not having a lot of luck, are they? Yeah, we've actually killed almost the entire crew just from firing in that same room over and over again. Uh, without the cloaking, this battle is significantly easier. I think this hits before the cloaking. Yeah, we took out their missile launcher again. So they're about to cloak any second now. There it goes. So we're going to have to cloak again here, because they're going to fire another big volley when they come out of a... Uh... Good thing we have that cloaking. I'd prefer not to have to burn another drone, if possible. Fortunately, we've killed most of the crew that was repairing, though. Alright, now here's the problem. They're retreating. That, um, that actually does demand a hacking drone, because we have to make sure they don't get away. Uh, I think they're dead here. Oh, they double resisted! <laughs> I was like, I think they're dead here, but they double resisted with the rock hull. And they actually get away now. Unfortunately, it's taking them forever to run. Alright. Never mind. They don't have anyone in the piloting room, so... Never mind, they're dead. Jeez, that took a while. Stupid cloaking. Wait, what? We only got 19 scrap? Are you kidding me? What the heck happened there? This is Sector 6, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? 19 scrap? Anyway. So, now at this point, we're farming up for um, the last weapon, and then the... Uh, last shield bubble. Well, we want the weapon first, then we'll get the shield bubble. We're only in sector six, though. We have a whole other sector to farm scrap after this. Ooh, I'm glad I have cloaking for this fight. This is a this is a drop a hacking drone for sure. This is a dangerous opponent here. All right. Uh, so let's get this up. You guys can hear Sid. Dodge this. I'm hoping to avoid having to use a hacking drone in this fight, or uh, avoid a defensive drone. So I think my first volley can just annihilate this ship if I'm lucky. Alright. I'll go see what he's. Yeah, as soon as this fight's over, I'm gonna go see what he's up to. Alright, yeah. I thought that I could just get one good volley and trash their ship. Alright, I don't know what's out there. Probably the mail van or something. Sydney, Uh, 
So um, one of our neighbors has like a like one of those big moving trucks delivering something to them. They probably got like furniture or something. And Sydney did not like that at all. <sighs> all right, so we have cloaking back up. Well, I'm hacking back up for this next shot. Also, the auto scout's taking a lot of damage from uh, taking a lot of damage from um, what you call it, uh, asteroids. So, didn't really matter what we fired at. We were just gonna kill them. Hacking, very very good system along with cloaking. All right, let's go over here, and hopefully we'll find more encounters. Oh, six scrap. That has a chance to take um, damage, but if we take like five damage, it's not a big deal right now. No, of course we're not paying the toll. So. Just have to dodge the missile, that's the only danger. Get to the Zoltan shield. I'll probably try to dodge the first one with um, cloaking and then see if... See if uh, we have to put up a... Um, see if we have to put up a defensive drone or not. We have not had much trouble cutting through Zoltan shields in these fights, have we? Uh, we have a le you know what? Let me put up the hacking drone, too. Because that'll ensure that this first volley just does immense damage. Alright. And that should probably knock their missile launcher offline. Like, we're probably going to use a drone either way, either for defensive droning or for um, hacking, so why not just use hacking? This weapon will never come back online now. Kind of going for the crew kill again. <laughs> I, I love the big gun setups. By far my favorite way to play this game is just pew pew pew. If we needed fuel, but we don't, so. I'll just blow them up and take the better reward. Alright. Uh, we can just, I mean, we can just go ahead and start upgrading now because we don't need to buy anything else. Oh nice, here's where all the encounters are. Excellent. Chain laser on its way. Just need a couple more fights. All right. This is another hacking battle. We don't want to, again, don't mess around. Don't let that get spun up. Just take it out quickly. Guys seem to like teleporting into this room, don't they? Just buy a little time here. Go heal Doc Brown. Let's get our defenses up. We'll see if we have to uh, cloak. I'm hoping that we won't have to, but we'll see. We took out the Vulcan, which is probably the least dangerous weapon. Alright, just occupy them for a minute. Should have brought the humans. I forgot I had these extra humans over here to help fight. Should have just brought them over. Oh well. Come on in. Have fun. Have fun with our med bay. So much for your weapons. That'll pretty much do it for this battle. Oh, whoops, there's still no oxygen in those rooms. Doc Brown was taking damage unnecessarily. Alright, now we need to make sure they don't run. Alright, now this ship is completely dead. <laughs> the battle humans were indeed, they were on a coffee break. They were on a, uh, the, the Admiral or Commanding forgot that they were on the ship because they're relatively new additions. No. Goodbye. They're about to teleport over again. But, alright. We don't have enough power to run this yet, but we will. Oh, even more encounters, excellent. So this leads us to the exit. We just have to remember this is the only path. We will definitely hit the Rebels at the exit, but we've gotten a ton of fights down here at the bottom of the sector. Okay, I was hoping for a fight there. Uh, will this get swallowed up? I believe it will. I don't want to fight double rebel encounters. 
we're in such good shape, I don't want to mess around with this run. I'm not going for like highest score, so we'll take the more conservative approach of just hitting this. There's a chance to potentially get an eighth crew member here. <laughs> don't really need this. It was it's very close, so because I'm off because I'm doing so well, I'm not gonna risk it. We'll just go for the safer option. This is the same thing as before. We should just cloak the uh, cloak the missile and then make sure our shots hit. Yeah. No, I want backup battery power. We're about to add two more shots onto this, so. Yeah, with them cloaking, that's gonna give them time to repair, so I'm gl glad we have the hacking, uh, hacking drone to help speed this one up. I'm just gonna wait until I have hacking to make sure that I get a good volley through. Uh, and I have to use actual power because the backup battery's about to die. Cloaking just means that this uh, battle gets extended in terms of time, but doesn't really make it more dangerous. They're going to cloak again, I think, before I can fire. Uh, yeah, they're going to cloak again, yeah. I'm glad I did not try to slip in a volley there. It wouldn't have worked. Yeah, there is some kind of a mod that will show you exactly how far the pursuit stretches. I'll just wait for the last charge. Welcome aboard, uh, Mantis, who is apparently good at repairing things. Oh, we had a request to rename someone Bob earlier, didn't we? And I forgot to do that. Bob. Which one was it? I can't remember which one. The repair Mantis. We still have the, uh, these two. The... Zoltan and then this random human also have not been renamed. All right, save the crew positions. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I was right. It did actually get taken over. I mean, we could have done encounters and double fought the rebels at the exit, but I think it's okay. All right. Unnamed the battle human red shirt. I like that idea. So that's a lot of lasers. No missiles, though. So we'll just cloak through. We just have to cloak if... Well, we have to save the cloaking for the um, uh, ASB. Well, now that we've got all these people, we are not especially afraid to rumble. All right, let's just put up the backup battery. A lot of lasers. I'm wondering if it's worth a lot of cloak. I think we no, I think we actually survived the laser burst. Which is fine. So that allowed us to save uh cloak for this, for the ASB. Right around now should be good. Yep, yeah, there it goes. At least we have long range scanners to help us find uh, encounters in the nebula. Okay. Well, not a lot available immediately. At least the exit's in an awesome location this time, and we have plenty of fuel, so even if we hit some empty stuff, it shouldn't uh, matter as much. Cool, so we hit the top side. Like, hit these encounters, hit the quest. We'll probably cycle around like this. Oh, exit only available from this spot. That's kind of... Okay, gotta remember that. Well, if it was a slug nebula, we'd upgrade oxygen, but it's not a slug nebula, so less of a need. Also, store, not much of a need to go to a store. We have everything we need, so it's like kind of a wasted encounter now to go to the store. So let's detour around the store. 
Oh, I didn't rename the characters. My apologies. Forgot to do that. So they're gonna board. Uh, I was hoping that they would come down here. That's okay. They're right, we're right next to the med bay, so it's pretty easy. Uh, they have enough dangerous weapons that, again, we're getting closer to the end of the run. We'll get more um, drones in a, in the last sector, so we can use these. And like that's what hacking's for, after all. You guys might need to heal for a second. Alright, the bomb missed. Okay, so let's try to stop them before that Albert beam goes off. There we go. Actually, you keep these guys busy. Just rotate these guys in and out. It's convenient that we're right next to the med bay for this. They'll uh, recall them in a second. Yeah, there they go. All right. Okay. So this ship's pretty much done now. I don't think they can hurt us anymore. Just make sure that... Uh... Okay, have fun up there. Make sure they don't run away at this point. So they have a mid bay, but not a cloning bay. Oh, that thing is doing a lot of damage. Yeah, this is hurt. Ideally, it's good not to let your guys drop down to like one HP because remember, if they like randomly detonate a bomb on one of your guys, then they just die, which is not great. All right, that's it for this group. 51 scrap, nice. All right, so now that gets the chain laser in play. Uh, because of the way the chain laser spins up, I don't want to have it in the last slot. Hull laser is actually the least valuable of my weapons, so that goes in the last slot, so that if we take weapons damage, that's the one that gets knocked offline. All right, good stuff. We'll circle up here and go from there. So now we need want the fourth shield bubble. So this allows you to avoid the fight, but again, we don't want to avoid the fight. We're we're trying to fight these guys. We want the scrap. Oh, you just you just made a mistake, buddy. You just made a mistake. <laughs> well, this is not the fight you're looking for. Uh, same thing again. Hacking drones, making sure we get a good volley. We'll cloak the first missile. Oh, we actually don't have max evade. 95%. Also stops them from recalling those guys, too. Oh, wait, I have four weapons to fire now. Yep. That's nine shots. <laughs> I forgot the names again, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm forgetting I have an extra weapon to fire now. And that's why we take out the uh, engines. Cloaking should be back up in time to dodge a missile if we have to. Right. Which we will. successfully. All right, now let's get the crew. <laughs> All right, so we already renamed the Mantis. Uh, we wanted this guy to be renamed Red Shirt. And then Handy Mantis. <laughs> and then I guess we don't have a name for this guy. Handy Mantis wouldn't make a lot of sense for him. All right, so now we're just trying to get the last shield bubble, and then we damage buffer systems at the end. We already have we already have a drones damage buffered already because we earlier upgraded it. Light bulb works for me. Works for me. All right. I mean, we're in really good we're we're in really good shape. I I definitely should not lose the run from here, but you never know. I could always screw up. All right, there's another fight. 
we'll go here, probably try to get that quest, and then dive down to the center. Again, it's weird to be like avoiding the store, but I don't need anything in the store. I have everything I want. We don't need to purchase. All right, this is four shield bubbles. Uh, this ship can't really hurt me though, so I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna save the hacking drone because it can't really hurt me. If too many shots come, come in at once, I'll just cloak past them. But I don't think this syncs up the shots particularly well. Yeah, I mean, it's like, okay. All right, here's our 10 shot volley. Yep. So I'm glad I saved the drone here. Like, I don't think I'm gonna run out of drones, but like I might as well save them. All right. They have no way to heal here, so there's a decent chance I can just get the crew kill on this poor Mantis, who has retreated to piloting. Yep. So that's that. All right, so we'll do this upgrade because it damage buffers shields. Go to the encounter. Green Lantern's good too. Sorry, I just went with the one that was in the chat first. All right, oh, they wanna rumble with our, our boys here. I'll have to rotate. Um, yeah, it looks weird when shields are on an odd amount because they're almost always at an even amount. I think I can do this battle without um, needing to use hacking. Because they only have three shields. Yep, nice. That was what we were hoping for, a good initial volley. Just shreds right through them. No cloaking or anything like that to worry about. So I'm mostly going with the nine shot volley and not the 10 shot volley because it just syncs up better with the timing. Ow, this poor guy, Licky. Those enemy mantises do hurt, but that's why we've got people to stand here and tank them. All right, now we want to make sure they don't run. Obviously, this would be way faster if we use hacking, but as I said, don't think we have to use it here, so we'll just save. They have no evade at the moment, so. <laughs> when they can't dodge, it's, yeah. No, the pilot slug has already been named. I don't want to remove a name from somebody. Uh, so there's encounters down here. So I'm going to value that over the quest, which I don't even know what the quest does. Just have to remember that this is the only spot that leads to the exit. So we'll loop down here, and then we go up and around. Yeah, you, this was named at the very start of the run. All right, so this, this means you get the fight, basically. So that's what we want. Uh, a lot of shots, but we should be fine. I could sneak a hacking drone past this, but I think we're okay. I think I will do the 10 shot volley though, just um, for safety's sake. Let's see if we have to cloak here. Looks like we're okay. Yeah, it looks like we're okay. But I'll use the extra shot here just because they do have a defensive drone too. All right, got their charge laser offline. Obviously if they start running away, then we'll have to target that, but they don't have any way to heal their dudes, so we might be able to damage them long term. It's like this dude's taking some damage. So far, so good. I'm just kind of chipping away at this this uh, ship. Obviously, as I said, we could use make short work of them with hacking, but. Alright, so we did just kill one of them. <laughs> did just kill one member of their crow. Like, it's tough to get past our 45% evade, though. Alright, nice. Kind of disabled their weapons at this point. It doesn't look like they're running away, but... You never know. We'll fire at piloting this time. Just to... Actually, no. These dudes are almost dead. Because they've been taking a lot of damage from laser shots. Didn't end up mattering. We just blew up the hull anyway. Alright. 
All right, not seeing a whole lot here. So let's loop up, to, like this appears to be empty. So let's loop up to the top now. All right. We'll take that. Might as well see what's up here. Uh, pathing through each sector actually does matter a fair bit. All right. I guess we'll see what goes to the, we'll go to the quest and then we'll have to loop down to the exit. See what this is. I can't remember what this was. Oh, reactor, cool. That was worth 30 scrap. Not as good as a fight at this point because we tend to get more than 30 scrap, but not, not nothing. There won't be an, <laughs> there won't be a next time open fire. <laughs> give me, give, oh, well this, that was the wrong place for you to teleport into guys. That was not where you wanted to go. And you know what? Let's, oh wait, I was gonna bring in someone else for extra damage, but there's only three tiles in the med bay. I was hoping I could kill them before they... Yeah, now that we have the fourth shield bubble, it's even harder to get through because we have so much evade. Yeah, well, so much for that crow. I mean, they, got the, they have the cloning bay, so I guess they'll come back unless we hit the to cloning bay here. So let's do that. All right, well, one of you came back. Now it's gonna take you a long time to repair that with a mantis on it. We'll kill this guy and hopefully they won't come back to life either. Oh, whoops, that's right, I have four guns, not three. Well, this was an easy battle. I mean, they have no way to dodge, so they're just dead here. Yeah, teleporting to the med bay, usually not the best option. All right, now we can start damage buffering stuff. So we'll do that. I mean, we're damage buffering. We're not even in sector eight yet. We may be able to max out of aid completely, which is always fun, but let's do the responsible upgrades first. Uh, I can't go there, that's a dead end. Attack. Again, this you get a scrap reward, but you don't get a fight. I'd rather just get the fight. <laughs> Bring Bob the Repairing Mantis over and clear out room for him. I mean, this ship's not nothing, but I think we can just cloak through past its weapons. Yeah, we got a good first volley, so. Let's sub you in for the guy who's been taking damage. We can actually run double med bay now, that's right, to heal faster. Uh, one of them managed to escape. Okay. Well, that ship's pretty much dead. <laughs> I love having good guns. Uh, we have to hit piloting here. Just, make, just in case they try to run. I mean, they didn't, but that was a responsible thing to target. All right, and they can't escape, so they're dead. So we only got scrap from that, all right. So remember, this is the only thing that leads to the exit, so we have to kind of head in that direction. This will get swallowed up and I don't want to fight double rebel encounters. Plus there's nothing interesting here. So we'll just go here and then to the exit. Playing it safe as mentioned before. All right, well, that was disappointing. So we've damage buffer. Oh, um, oh no, we haven't done this. We'll get hacking next. And we'll just see how much scrap we can farm in sector eight. Try to be a hero. Oh, they got a... So they have four shield bubbles and a glaive beam. So that's somewhat concerning, but we, this is a perfect time to break out hacking. As long as they don't sync the glaive beam with this charge laser, we're good. It looks like they're going to do the full charge, so... Let's see. If these start hitting, I'm going to have to cloak the remainder. Alright, we're good. 
I was prepared to cloak if I had to. And so much for your glaive beam. Big old fancy glaive beam. The stealth bee. Alright, well that's easy enough to fix. And they already cloaked. Alright. Uh, I'll stay on weapons for now. So much for that. Probably hit piloting on the next volley. Although I believe they're about to cloak, yeah. As, as I thought they would. Yeah, let's just hit their piloting. Nope, not accepting the more generous bribe. Oh no! Mikhail can't get out of the room that's burning! He should make it out. But uh, obviously this next volley is going to finish them off. So, game's been pretty easy for a while now because we got way out in front of, like, the curve. Uh, this is pointless because we're about to hit the exit, so we'll salvage the ship. Nice. That was almost 100 scrap there. All right. So this, this. And now we can look to sink into the engines, I suppose. See, see how high we can get the engines upgraded. Is there a preference? So typically you want to hack piloting because, so here's the reason why piloting is typically the better choice. Um, there's only three levels of piloting, but there can be up to eight levels of engines. So it's easier to take out piloting, like um, by damaging piloting and shooting at piloting, um, you're more likely to be able to take it to zero. Whereas with engines, you might have to do eight damage. Piloting, if you do three, you'd knock it out. So that's why it's piloting. So yeah, unfortunately we, Wound up one jump short, but I think that that went about as well as we could hope for. <laughs> My bet stealth B runs involves selling the glaive beam for a halberd beam. Indeed, the halberd is a much better weapon. All right, well, there's a fight here. Um, I wouldn't mind hitting a repair shop, but I don't see an easy way to get to any of these. We'll see if these are still around when I get to the right side of the map. So for the time being, we'll jump to these and just see how much scrap we get. Uh, this doesn't look too dangerous. I was thinking about if I wanted to use a hacking drone or not. But I think we're good. I don't think there's much dangerous that this ship can do. It must have, like, really high engines or piloting or something, given that it doesn't seem to have much in the way of other systems. We'll just fire at its, uh, weapons for safety's sake, but... This, this ship looks surprisingly not dangerous for a ship that's in Sector 8. Probably didn't even need to fire at weapons, as Sleeping Dragon said. So we'll hit their shields instead now. Yeah, I don't think it can hurt. No, yeah, you're right. It can't hurt us at all, so there's no point in even firing at weapons. Just strip off their shields instead. Get them down to, like, one shield bubble or zero. Yeah. One shield bubble. And then now we'll take out their piloting just to make sure they don't run. So if it looks like they're going to get away, then we'll hack, uh, use hacking on piloting, but I think we're good. Just need this volley to get any shots through, and we're good. Yeah. Free scrap. 45 scrap. The uh, engine upgrades start getting insanely expensive, so usually it's a, it's a total luxury. This ship also does... Oh, wow. They're, uh, you know, they're... Their teleporting guy really might want to work on uh, where he puts them. This doesn't look very dangerous either. If we have to, we can cloak through that. But, but you know what? It does have... They do have four shield bubbles, so... Just because they have four shield bubbles. And it's not like we're hurting for drones here. Oh yeah, we have the big back... Of, oh, and I never damage buffered um, hacking. I have to do that. That's my bad. That's 35 scrap I have to spend. That's in case a random missile hits hacking that you don't lose the system in a critical moment. So those guys will come back to life because of the cloning bay, but whatever. <laughs> okay. 
You you teleported into the wrong ship, buddy. Get get out and stay out. We're coming to protect Judge T. Uh, shields. Just strip off their shields now. I mean, they can try to run, but they have one shield level left, so... And we have hacking that we can use to take them out if we need to. Alright, just for safety's sake. This is mathematically guaranteed to kill their ship, so... Alright, before I forget again... Hacking... We have the upgraded backup battery, so we're pretty good on power. Uh, looks like the repair shops are getting taken over. I don't think I have a realistic chance to get to either of these, so... Not that we really need a repair shop at the moment. We seem to be just fine. Cool, another fight. That's what we want. Oh, we got a boarding drone? Okay. Uh, let's... we'll just use the hacking drone here. Well, if they were going to jump into one one part of the ship, that's where I want. Now, the one scary thing is if they um, ionize, they this thing, this is an ion drone. This could walk into this room and ionize weapons, but I think I can do enough damage to kill it before that happens. Because, like, it's going to ionize the... So, we're going to maneuver out of there before it ionizes them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can kill this thing before it manages to get off... Uh, um, the weapons ionization. Anyway, take out their weapons. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we actually just... <laughs> I think we just took off, took their drone offline or something. So, get the oxygen back up and then we'll heal them there as soon as we can. All right. Piloting. Heal him back up. Be prepared to deal with the next drone whenever it comes in. <laughs> Apparently they like this room. Uh, what do we want to take out? We'll take out their shields. Okay, 71 scrap. I'll take that. And a drone recovery arm. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. 71 scrap on a surrender offer. <laughs> that was generous of them. The uh, These ships really wanna, might, might want to work on their targeting. They keep going for that med bay. All right, can we get 120 to get that last upgrade? It's a real luxury, as mentioned. Oh, there's a store here, too, but... Do I have anything to sell at the store? Uh, I could sell... I actually could sell both of these. I don't really need them. Well, we'll go here, and if the store is still there, we'll jump to the store. Actually, we're probably jumping that way, even if it does get taken over. A lot of drones on this ship. Mostly it's just the missile that's annoying. I think it's the same thing. Hacking drone, and then hopefully cloak the first missile. They got it. Nah, unfortunately I wasn't able to slip it through. That's too bad. Me and my cheating ways. Alright, oh, we took out the weapons. That's too bad. That was a rare surrender offer from someone who wanted to live, indeed. Notice how much slower the battle goes without hacking to ensure that we hit everything. Uh, we are at 51% of aid, which is pretty nice. Alright, that's that was a hacking volley there. <laughs> that was the kind of damage we get from hacking. So yeah, uh, I should have just enough drones to finish the game. I actually would have really would have liked to have hit a repair shop just to get five more for safety, but... 
it is what it is. We didn't, it just wasn't in the path. Maybe we'll get a one that drops from this. Oh, I have drone recovery arm too now, which I never buy, so. That does mean I can put these up and they stay after the battle. All right, fire this. Cloak, cast the missile. There we go. Nice. Oh cool, the store is still there, excellent. So we can sell stuff. There's a flak too, not that we want it. There's a whole repair drone, but... Um, so we can sell long range scanners. They were awesome, but we don't need them anymore. This is probably not needed either. Because we are, oh, that's gonna get taken over. Oh well, nothing we can do. So here's the question, do we do the responsible thing and take whole repair drone, or do we do the crazy thing, um, sell drone recovery arm, and try to get the last engine upgrade? <laughs> I think we go for the last engine upgrade because it's more fun, and I do not think I'm in any danger of losing to the flagship here. Battery charger would be nice too, but... It's like, can I sell a crew member for 30 scrap? Alright. That's too bad. This would have given us another 50 scrap, but instead it's going to be a fight with the rebels. Nothing we can do though. But uh, we have level 7 engines, so we can get out of this fight like unbelievably fast. And we have cloaking too. We have a um, level 2 cloaking, so we should be under no danger in this fight. Yep, that was maybe not the room you wanted to go into. Do I just put up cloaking right here? I think I just put up cloaking right here, because I'll be out before the ASB hits. I got the long cloak here. Yeah, we'll, we'll be out of here before the ASB hits, so we're, we're... I mean, we have level 7 engines, so... And then we just go here so we can rest up for a round, with, get our systems back online, and then hit the flagship. Oh, we get another fight? Well, that's fine. More scrap for us. Put the oxygen back on for the time being. Oh, more people in bay. Okay, okay. So this time we actually do have to do a little bit more uh, micro, because we've got four people on board our ship right now. Should be okay. We should win these fights, I think. I can always duck in the mid bay, but I actually have to use some tactics for this battle, so that's good. Get that backup battery online. All right, let's take out their weapons. This battle is like the previous battle bleeds over a little bit into this one. All right, so now we can kill this guy. All right, now let's heal you. Uh, one of the people is very low here. Uh, no, actually, Doc Brown is totally fine. And these guys are trying to get over to their partner. Uh, we'll just heal you, and then we should be fine. Especially with Mantis coming over. All right, so we're good. Now we'll just heal up everybody. I mean, they can teleport back over if they want, but... Right. Like, my guys are pretty much all healed at this point. It's like, you want to come back in for round two? You have at it. Now we're all healed. Uh, you know what? How about you not come back for round two? Maybe I should have gone for the Vulcan there. Oh well. You know what we can do? Let's just buy time for our guns to charge. This will stop the Vulcan from getting spun up. We'll just use 10 seconds of cloaking to stop it from spinning up. And now it's offline again. Oh, they really do not like light bulb, do they? All right, well, you know what? The rest of the crew does like light bulb. We got a 63 scrap payout. Level 8 engines, here we come. I was like, you know what? The rest of the crew does like light bulb. 
<laughs> the cloning maple Zoltan suicide bomber. It's it is like I, that's that's the correct read. It is not very good. That's what the what is it Federation C tries that. Yeah, it's it's not good. I think the designers thought it was better than it actually is, but it's actually quite bad. All right, so now we can just get some more reactor power. The other, the only other upgrade I really like at the end of the game is I do like the um, Ultra Med Bay. Level 3 Med Bay can be very helpful in some of these, but um, we probably want to get another bar of reactor power because if we're going to run level 8 engines, that eats up a lot of, a lot of power. But hey, 55% of 8 is absolutely insane. I almost never get it because it's just so expensive. Alright. Don't hack weapons, don't hack shields. <laughs> Those are the only two systems I don't want them to hack. And we can't run away. Alright, cloaking is not great, but we can live with it. I believe that the cloak hacking uh, timing does not line up with the missile volley. But I could be wrong. Because like when the missiles fire, I believe that we um, can still have cloaking up. Alright. Cloak, of course. Oop, oop, oop. And I'm gonna fire the full 10 shot volley, just because why not? Alright. You always wanna take out the missiles. Not quite enough to kill that person, but. Alright, so they just hacked our cloaking again, but cloaking will be back up by the time that the um uh, by the time that they fire the next missile surge. Yeah, see, cloaking's already back up again. Uh, we should be able to kill this guy, too. Um... Yeah, so we just take the weapon out again. Unfortunately, we weren't able to kill that person who ran into the med bay, which is slightly, slightly less than great. But... So they're going to cloak again. Just trying to make sure we don't take damage here. We have a full crew of eight, so I'm not really worried about them boarding in the last phase of the battle very much. We can always pull that retreat maneuver if we have to. There's our... Wow, where's my evade? 55%. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Alright, we have a full charge. I want backup battery power for this. Alright, did we kill one person there? Because all of those shots hit, they're able to get their halberd beam shot through. That's annoying. I mean, I had cloaking up, but I wasn't expecting that to get through. Anyway, they're about to cloak, so I'm not going to fire. I was like, 55% evade. Where was it? But uh, we've got the missiles offline, and that's the only really dangerous thing in the battle. We'll just fire the full charge here, and that should probably kill them. I don't know if we took out any crew or not. So hacking cloaking or hacking um, shields will will make the fight faster, but it does introduce more. You are more likely to take damage, though. All right, so you want to fight the second phase at the at this beacon at the base. Uh, we can upgrade something. I'm gonna get another reactor bar. So like it, it, it does make the fight faster, but it introduces a little bit more danger. So that's why I typically don't go for it. Uh, we might as well see if we can shoot down the boarding drone. Uh, they shot down our hacking drone. Okay, I, I I don't have enough drones that I can afford to waste these. to get this thing through. Alright, finally, jeez. Almost didn't get it through. That's the main thing though, keep this keep this weapon offline. So I have cloaking up for the drone surge if we need it. All 
right, we're fully charged. Hmm. Do I want to aim at this or aim at the shield? I think we go for shields. So it's like, do we need to cloak here? Waiting to see if evade holds up or if we can save the cloak. Looks like 55% evade held. Did lose our defensive drone though. Not quite enough to kill anyone. Ah, they finally got the. Ah, they finally got a drone through because I didn't uh, keep. That's fine though. It's not like I lack for borders. Anti-boarding defense. We still have cloaking up. I've not used it yet in this fight. Just even out the damage a little bit. Alright, so we've got a full volley up, so let's... Okay, this time I can't run... I don't have the backup battery, so I can't run full... Uh full of aids. So we probably will have to cloak here. Yeah, let's not mess around with this. Let's just get the cloak up now. Alright, weapons are back up. Ah, oh, one HP. Almost. Almost. They're about to get a hacking drone down again. I'm not putting up a defensive drone just to shoot that down. And the oxygen drone. Okay, well. One more volley should finish these guys off. There we go. Good fight. Good fight. No damage taken. Alright. Get everybody back to their normal spots. I don't think I can upgrade anything with only 28 scrap. A little bit short. So we won out of the super med bay, which probably would have been better than another reactor bar, but that's okay. Alright, so if we have to jump back, we can always jump back. We'll see where the mind control lands. Alright, it's landed on one of the best targets possible, an NG, so that's not terribly dangerous. Let's see where they choose to jump in. Oh, that's a great spot for them to jump in, so... Alright, this, this, is, this is pretty good as far as what's getting hit by what. So I will have to bring someone over to hit mind control, or hit the mind controlled guy, but you can come over now that uh, they broke through the doors. This is pretty good though. Now we haven't had great luck at actually hitting them, but like as far as who the mind control targeted on our side, this is about as good as we could hope for. Wait, have we? We're not doing a very good job of peeling off that Zoltan shield though, are we? Well, actually, I think I do want. I was like, do I want backup battery power here? I think we do. So we hold cloak. You cloak on the second missile volley because it times with the um, big, big power surge. Well, 51 so that was actually quite bad. The fire hitting in this room is actually terrible. So that actually means we may need to pop out of here because a fire going off is really bad. We had 55% of aid and we didn't dodge any of the missiles. Kind of unlucky. Um, just because I can't, um, I can't repair this while um, light bulb is in the room and that's bad. So uh, because that missile launched a lit a fire, I think I actually do have to get out of here. Which means that we probably just want to cloak as soon as we can. Yeah, this fire in, in here is really bad. I'm just trying to think what the best way I can do. Um, also, if this burns down too low, I actually can't run away from the battle, so that's also a thing, too. 
I think now would be a good time to cloak. I'll try to get out of here before anything more happens. Stop firing weapons. Yeah, the uh, the fire. This fire just has. I probably could fight my way out of this, but like, why, why take the risk? No, no, get out of the fire room, no. No, what are you, oh my god, they were stuck in the fire room. Oh my god. Get out of there. Okay, this fire is pretty bad. I need NG. To help with that. So like one missile getting through can set up a cascading system failure. Just that one missile getting through and lighting a fire um, could have turned this battle into an utter disaster. That's why you try to stop those missiles from hitting you, but uh, bad, bad fight RNG. I had the max 55% of aid, but missiles got through and one of them started a fire in a critical room. And then the fire just suddenly engulfed everything in flames. Because if you have no evade, I mean, the fight's not going to go well if you have no ability to evade. Yeah, they made it out on like 1 HP. The problem was they were still in the room as the animation for the um, retreat was playing. Alright, so we killed four crew members over there on their, over there on their ship. Everybody back in your places. Ship full of oxygen. Okay. And that's why you fight the, sec the second phase at the base, so the third phase will then be there. Alright, now this is worse RNG in that the Mantis has been mind controlled. That's probably the worst target for us to get mind controlled. We also had terrible luck in getting our shots through. Through the, like the first, like eight of the first nine shots missed or something like that. But, um, alright. So we can hit these guys. We're gonna need someone to... Occupy the mantis. We'll let him just beat on the beat on that for a little while. While two of the guys are hitting these. Okay. Look how much damage the mantis does. While mind controlled level three, it's like 20 damage per little tick. Alright, come on defensive drone, shoot down some of these. Alright, not too bad. Alright, so we don't want anyone actually hitting our Mantis, so what we're gonna do is this. So that they're not directly hitting the Mantis. Only one of the missiles got through, so that's not so bad. This guy's gonna run down here to join this fight. Now the good news is this fight's happening in a room we don't especially care about. Like if they take the drones offline, is that a big deal? No, not really. It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. So having bought some time, now we'll let them hit the systems in this room if they want. And uh, when the mind control wears off, we can counterattack there. But uh, here's where we need to heal. Alright, so we're going to want to cloak here in a minute and stop auto-firing our weapons. Oh, whoops. That one's going to get through, isn't it? Oh, this, <laughs> the one missile that got through started a fire again. Are you kidding me? But now the mind control is worn off. Jeez. See, I mistimed it. What was supposed to happen is that big uh, missile surge was supposed to go off at the same time that I was cloaked. Fortunately, we dodged every single shot, so yeah, okay. But now, you can come on in so we can just kill you. <laughs> I, again, one missile got through and it set a massive fire again. Pretty bad fight RNG here. Um, but now that the mind control is worn off, we should be in pretty good shape. All right. Oh, that wow! We came up one point of damage short of knocking that out. I, 
I know you have to do four points of damage and not five, but I thought we had enough shots to kill to knock that offline. I guess we did not. All right, so we're just repairing systems. Uh, oxygen back up. Eh, see, this was supposed to not not fire, but we did came up one damage short. So now we have to run, play the missile game again. Let's get as much of eight as we can. Oh, the, the mantis got mind controlled again. <laughs> this is some pretty terrible fight RNG. I mean, we're still gonna win this battle, but wow, like, are you kidding me? Mantis gets mind controlled twice. Every missile that's gotten through has started a fire. It's like, are you kidding me? Anyway. Every single missile that's gotten through. Like, we have not shot down any missiles. What the heck? This is horrible fight RNG. Anyway. And then, then we dodge every laser, okay. Uh, now we've had good, we had good luck at dodging some of this other stuff. I can take the defensive drone down for the moment. Uh, I could have played this fight a little bit better, for sure. Alright, you just occupy the Mantis for a turn or two while these guys heal. How have we not locked this offline yet? Oh my god. <laughs> what? He did so much damage to Judge T. What? <laughs> that was like 22 damage, 22 damage on two straight attacks. Oh, are you kidding me? Anyway. So we got the backup battery again. I mean, we're gonna win, but like this is not going the way I wanted it to. It is not given the given the weapons I had. This has been a very sloppy flagship fight. All right, so we killed everything on the enemy ship. But as I said, it has not been good fight RNG. My control should be wearing off any second now. Okay. At least we have cloaking back up now. Let's see if we have to cloak. Well, at least we have hacking coming back up shortly. out the ability to dodge. Anyway, I mean, we still got this battle, right? We're on 20% hull. We still got this, but it's like some kind of... Actually, no. Let's take out the mind control. There we go. Computer just froze. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, they never acknowledged the the poor guy who died. They never acknowledged our poor crew member who died. Killed off by Bob. Alright, 6k. Not a not an especially high score. I guess it made the top score list, although I think that this is not the my like main account. Oh well. It's still a win. 2,000 scrap collected. That is very high. To be at 2,000 scrap is a lot. Um, so it was a, it, it was unfortunate that the third flagship phase was so sloppy. I do think that there was just a lot of bad fight RNG. Um, I also mistimed things a little bit, but like considering how much scrap I had and how strong my weapons were and the fact that I had level 8 engines, I kind of got hit by everything. <laughs> I was like, I had level 8 engines and a defensive drone and I still got hit by missiles on every volley. 
plus um, every volley I didn't cloak throw, plus they started fires almost every single time. Oh well. Whatever. Yeah, it was really hilarious that the Mantis got plus one combat XP at the very end. Alright. 